You're old. Groaning like a geezer. Sequin shirts. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki mother. Changing from bad to good's as easy as taking your first step. Put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking out the door. Door. Welcome, everybody. It is a special time of year. It's Christmas time. And this is your professional's prime time Christmas special. Um, as you can see behind me, got a nice warm fire crackling back there and a nice uh, little uh, stocking hung by the chimney with care. Lift that up just a little bit more. There we go. I'm excited. I'm I'm excited that actually I'm not excited because I was expecting the Grinch, pardon me, the uh, the Tim Burton or the Rankin and Bass to win the poll. But once again, you guys have uh, pulled a surprise on us, and we are going with favorite Christmas movies. So this should be, in the very least, mildly entertaining. But let me bring in the gang for this joyous holiday occasion. Everybody put your hands together for Mr. Christmas himself, David Williams. <laughs> What's up? Did you, did you call us professionals? I thought I said, did I? Yes, you did. <laughs> Wrong show. Wait a minute, what, did I really? Oh, well. <laughs> My fellow professionals, I think maybe is what I was trying to say. That, are, be, that just happened to be bros. What's well, happening, bro? That's right. We're all brothers. So, um, <laughs> well, anyway, my mistake. And it, it's it's uh, it's a great way to start the show off by screwing it up. Yeah. Um, let's bring in a guy who's not afraid to screw things up. It's Gary Martin. Hey, Gary. Sorry, officially a gang. <laughs> that's right. What? West you Side. Always, <laughs> bring in the gang. What's yeah, up? See, I said that's what I said. I didn't say the professionals. I said bring in the gang. Well, right? no, no, that's just... the second thing you, you said, professionals, and then you called us a gang. Yeah, oh, Does that mean if like anybody in the chat sees us coming down the street, you better step aside. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Don't cross us. Yeah, we yeah. are. We're uh, we're the Crips, the Cripples. Is that's basically right. what... <laughs> um, here's a guy that no one ever messes with. Uh, everybody put your hands together for St. Kelsey. There he is. Great beards for life! <laughs> <laughs> How's that go? I already forgot. I, I don't know. Great beards! That is beyond me, man. He's all arthritis for life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what they look like now. Yeah, we all got Dr. Strange fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, clocks, claw. claw. <laughs> I love the so, ambiance you got going on in your house there, Aaron. It feels I, very we're cozy. Set up. And, well, yeah. you know, it all started for the Christmas special that I had Sunday on my show, and I just kind of left it up and thought, well, you know, until the holiday passes, why don't I just keep it up? Or that stone, either one. And when I pass that stone, I don't want to be passing <laughs> those again. I did plenty of those in my day, let me tell you. I'm not <laughs> Really? <laughs> Please do tell. Well, no, no, don't tell. No. That's all right. <laughs> Here's the thing: when they have to go up and remove the stones, uh, they um, they leave a catheter in you, right? So you're 
Oh, this is getting uh, better and better. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! So that your uh, urethra doesn't swell shut, and uh, any story that in, includes urethra. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first time, this has happened to me twice. I had to have stone, kidney stones removed, and the wow. first time they go, they just say, uh, "We come back in the office and we'll remove the, um, you know, the uh, stint in there." And uh, so I go into the office. And my doctor is this dude, right? And he's like, um, hey, uh, got a couple uh, interns or something. Do you mind if they observe, right? They're observing me pulling that, right? And, and it it's turned two, into a Seinfeld episode. It's two, it's two college-age girls. And I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? I just put a towel over my face and just said, do it. <laughs> oh. I say that when I go to the massage parlor. Yeah, I was going to say that's, say, that's probably not the, the first yeah. time. You did yeah. That. So the next time I removed it myself. So oh, damn. I was like, you I'm know, not every, going through that again. So. Every time in, in in school at sex ed, every time the teacher would mention urethra, we would scream out, Franklin. <laughs> 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 that's my auntie's name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to be old enough to get that. Yeah. Oh, good old uh, Uretha Franklin. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, let's see who's 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 tuned in to join us on this uh, special holiday joyous occasion. Uh, Halder 6480 is here. He says, I like the later streams. I'll be able to catch this live when I'm on a break at work. So how about that? Repairman Jack is here. Time from some award-winning YouTube. Ahoy, Graybeards. David Pentecost Comic Book Art is here. Uh, creative Phase here. She says, good strategy, Aaron, doing the stream later. So David and Kelsey are tired since they are in a later time zone. <laughs> this is going to be rough. <laughs> Uh, Toshiro is here. Dan, the pizza man, Genovese. I'm here. Uh, Brian Norton, all the way from Japan. Spambot, Zeno, the stoic. Mark Pengram. Kevin Thomas says, Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, can't catch this stream, but we'll catch the replay. Kevin, we went later just for you and you still can't watch. What the heck, man? Uh, Citizen Ronan. Last favor we do for him. I know. Citizen Ronan, Caesar, Birdman, Burr is here. Blue Boy Comics. Haven't seen Blue Boy in a while. Jimmy Reyes, of course, is always here, pimping his uh, projects. Um, <laughs> Dragon Rage, I believe. Uh, you can find an Indiegogo. There you go, Jimmy. I did it for you. Uh, yeah, I get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Schnitzel is here. Pantheon, Robert the Bruce, uh, Paul B Brillard, our resident uh, engineer, is here. Uh, Blackjack, Kellraiser, Aaron Louvier. I just love saying that. Aaron Louvier. That's what his friend. Louvier. Yeah. Uh, Jughead Grayson is here. George Bonnie 90. Zade Comics, that's Phil Diaz, also known as Merv the Astro Chimp. Uh, Robert. <laughs> Robert Doan Pills is here. Uh, the Soap Maker, celebrating all things Lopez. Thank you, Soap Max, uh, Maker. Uh, the Normie Nerd is here. Chimera. Now, the Chimera is is being very merry in the chat. Now, Chimera, isn't that like a monster from, uh, like, uh, uh, who's the guy that did Cthulhu? What's his uh, name? Cthulhu? Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about, George Perez? No, the the uh, writer. You guys help me out. Uh, <laughs> oh, Clyde Barker. Clyde Barker. No, way before Clyde Barker. <laughs> um, you come up with George Perez. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that popped into my head. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Chimera is like a mythical monster. Anyway, but so I was just saying, he's being very nice. Yeah, and so is George monster. Perez. <laughs> um, George Perez. Sean Allen is here. Henry Bemis, all the way from Oregon. Frack off uh, Felger Carb is here. Fox Mulder made the trip in. Um, Corinne Zenith, all the way from Australia. So it's actually like tomorrow there right now. Uh, it's like wow. time traveling. Wow. Uh, six ways to someday. Lopez, Bancroft, and Thibert all streaming at once. We're staying what? right here. Viva La Raza. I don't know what that means, but thank you. 
Pontificators um, is also streaming. Well, don't they know we stream whenever we want? They should be ready. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> We're doing a Christmas special for crying out yeah, loud. We appreciate <laughs> you guys choosing us. That's right. And yeah, like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Joseph Pantalon is here. Christmas dementia. He says, H is for heretic. Gnome ski. I much prefer this time slot, he says. Well, we're not, I don't think this is going to be a regular time slot. This is a prime time Christmas special, and uh, we'll see. Uh, Wizard Sleeves is here, Gary's favorite. Uh, <laughs> I still I want found, to know the backstory. I, I, I found I found a picture of a wizard with wizard sleeves, and I should have, I, I was going to save it for the show, and then I forgot. But uh, Aaron, we have a show. Come on, think about these things. I, know. I think I, I understand know. what it is. You know, like how a, a magician goes, hey, there's nothing up my sleeves. Right. And they, that's it. They, no, it's wizard. drugs. Oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? Everybody has their own theory. Yeah, yeah but there's only one right answer, and I know what it is. So uh, Eric Boyd is here. Uh, Henry Bemis already said Henry. Um, he's a monster is here. How about that? Zombie Chow making it in tonight. Ben Jarrett, I like the great soul singer, Euretha Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Geek Avenger, Space Monkey. Uh, who we got? A green Laser made the trip in. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, let's see. Leg Kick is here because Leg Kick, of course, is almost always here. Suda Scram is here. These names are amazing. Where do you guys come up with this stuff? Uh, <laughs> Rage at the Illusion is here. Good old John is here. NPC Oasis. Dale A. Not to be confused with Dale uh, K. Uh, Dale Keown, I guess, is who I'm referring to. Um, did, uh, Henry Dale Bemis said, did Aaron say Cthulhu? Yeah, that's what <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's Cthulhu. Is it Cthulhu? Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, Chuck. Uh, you should like a, a we should, uh, we should market some gum and call it Cthulhu. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Right, exactly. Um, Colin is here. How about that? Spambot made it in. Headless uh, Bourgeoisie is here. Bub66. Pity Ma. Peter Helterbush. What's the topic? I missed it. Yes, Christmas, but what style? Uh, we're doing our favorite Christmas movies, Peter Helterbush. <laughs> Whatever we're capable of. That's it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Texas Mofo is here. Uh, Whatever we could do with this ungodly hour. I know. <laughs> uh, Cal Mel Jed is here. Crap, I'm late. Well, now you're not that late. We haven't done anything yet. Uh, John sends $5. He says, thank you, John. It's already past Gary's bedtime, and Kelsey has possum to catch at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's my second job scraping him off the highway. Uh, right, you know. right. uh, Ruby J90 is here. Early bird special at IHOP, so yeah, yeah I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Uh, Blackjack says Aaron is taking grammar lessons from Shane. Is, is that just all go back to my Cthulhu thing or a part of yes. my Cthulhu thing? Yes. <laughs> hey, there's Danger Vanessa. Look at that. Danger Vanessa was uh, helped award some of us uh, some of our uh, our awards that we uh, won this year. So I uh, hopefully That's that she right. put in an extra vote for us. We thank my you. My newcomer uh, award. Thank you, Danger. That's right because Kelsey hasn't been around but just a couple weeks. So. I feel like I feel like a villain. Like I stole that one. <laughs> I really like that name. Could you guys from now on start calling me Danger? <laughs> Danger Gary? Yeah. Danger's with your, uh, my... Vanessa, with your, with your permission, of course. Yeah. Uh, Geek Avenger for $2 says, who's drawing Die Hard? We'll find out, won't we? Okay. Um, let's get this show rolling with a little bit of holiday show and tell. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> David, <clears throat> you got something you want to... Um, Cheryl. Uh, Kelsey could go first. Oh. Well, okay, Kelsey. All yeah, right. You, you want me to start uh, with Gary? Yeah, Gary yeah. Well, he's ready. Gary's ready. Yeah, let right, Gary go Gary. first. I'm going to start with Gary. I'm never ready. <laughs> well, if you uh, if you missed last Woo! week's Gary beer, this is something I whipped wow. up during the show. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. That this is his entry in the show. Clearly, he won that episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, I was uh, so ecstatic with 
being able to whip this up in a couple hours, I, I'm retiring and I'll never draw on the stream again. <laughs> yeah, so if you missed that episode, or it's a real bummer. Uh, yeah, never miss an episode. Yeah. So you're all aware of Bernie Wrightson's uh, post Frankenstein. Um, how should we call it? Jinx that his career uh, kind of, I'm going to say career, his artwork. This, this is debatable, but his artwork, in my opinion, and maybe in yours, Aaron, kind of went downhill after, after Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yeah, 1980 was the last great thing he did. That was the, uh, uh, the Captain Stern story in heavy metal, June of 1980. It was the last great thing that right. Wrightson I did. agree. Hmm. And, and some people attribute it, and he may have attributed it to, you know, the strain of, of doing these illustrations. And so a couple of people warned me about you know, the curse after Frankenstein. And well, so yeah, but I, you have to be good enough to. <laughs> if you can't tell <laughs> if the work is plummeted, then clearly <laughs> there's no curse. <laughs> so anyway, I followed up the uh, Frankenstein with this piece. Oh, just to oh, prove wow. that you hadn't Woo! walked off. Look at that. Well, I mean, Wrights and broke his hand. What's your excuse? <laughs> I did this with my off hand. Oh, okay. Dang. And I did this with my left foot. <laughs> so but I yeah, think cross um, that in there. Not that long ago, for, I think we were talking about this, and I, I mentioned I was thinking about doing Maria the Robot, and, and a couple people in the chat encouraged me, so that, yeah. that kind of put me over the top. So you guys in the chat, I mean, you have influence. I think if I probably would not have done this without, you know, somebody saying, "Yeah, that'll be cool." Green so this laser, is uh, mostly Gary. Hang on a second, Gary. Green laser said, and... Gary, hold on a second. Yes. <laughs> the green laser says, "This is the first time I have ever noticed the corpse on the table in the Frankenstein drawing." <laughs> oh my goodness! Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the reflection there. Can't it took me it? a while the first time I saw that drawing to find it, but it, uh, you know, I, I did find it the first time, but that's interesting. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Speak technique to us, Gary. Now he doesn't want to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm trying to find my place. What was I talking about? Um, Cross Check the script. <laughs> it's mostly like how complicated the uh, Maria's giant the sheen was on her. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Maria's <laughs> giant areolas? Is that what it could have been Orioles. I, oh, I Oreos. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oreos and milk. <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right. See? Here you go. You just chased Gary right off. Just... <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I'm sorry, G. Uh, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Kill you all. Merry Christmas. <laughs> but it was yeah, that was that was a difficult piece, and and so I I'm I'm going to move forward. I'm I uh, I I dodged a bullet. <laughs> well, no, that's a cool piece, man. You did, of course, the lettering. Uh, as well. And, and yes. to me, that used to be the biggest challenge for me was lettering. Mm. I've gotten better at it, but man, I want to do more of you it. Do that stuff by hand. That's, um, yeah, that's it's, it, it's not fun. Yeah. I was looking at, uh, I was looking at, uh, uh what was it? American flag, uh, Ken Brusenak's work on that, uh, mm. that was shaken. Oh my mm -hmm. God. It's just unreal. It's every kind of font you can imagine in that. Yep. <laughs> I say, well, uh, that, uh, that, uh, Metropolis piece is available. By the way, uh, Henry Bemis says, "Don't listen to them, Danger Martin." That's oh, right. thank you, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's I right. I don't have to listen to your <laughs> crap. Daniel Russell says, "Gary, do you do any digital inking?" You no. don't know me, do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you Daniel, have you like been watching the show? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I actually. Wait a minute, I actually have something for that. Uh, here it is. Did you guys ever watch the show? There we go. <laughs> I, was, I was questioning what was happening in that yeah, scene. Yeah, 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 what's going on there? <laughs> Do you ever watch the show? Um, okay, so I got to do a couple super chats here because Kelriser's getting ticked at me. For $1.99, he says, oh. Lovecraft. 
that I was trying to think of. Is that the uh, German uh, uh, avant-garde music group? Not, no. And then he, <laughs> then, he, then he put another $2 in and said Lovecraft was the writer. So he's like clarifying. Oh, I thought that was the brand of Zipatone that George Perez used. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, that's Richard Lovecraft. Starking's lettering company, right? Lovecraft? <laughs> exactly. I sent, you guys, oh, my goodness. I sent you guys that Kevin Nolan black and white with... Oh yeah, that oh, my God. all that lettering in there that he did himself was amazing. Yeah. He's yeah. a he's a madman. He like made, he chisels his own uh, edges on his quills to get that edge on on his lettering. It's insane. Yeah, he, uh, he makes his own soap too. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> he's in Fight Club, but he doesn't talk about. It. <laughs> he doesn't talk about that. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Uh, so who wants to go next, David or Kelsey? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. All right, you go. All right. No, Kelsey go. goes. Go. Oh, jeez. All right. Wait, you, wait, David, wait, you're in the hot seat. Oh, All right, I'm in the hot seat. All right. Yeah, That's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Just okay. showing uh, more fearsome yeah. stuff, and it's coming. Um, working on the last two pages, we're trying to figure it out. Me and uh, Ethan. Um, you know, and that's the cool process that, you know, if something's not quite working, you know, you you send it back and he says, no, something like this. And then he's got to be a showstopper. It's worth it. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. Especially if it's on a double page, it has to say something. Mm -hmm. But I just want to show you some of these things that uh, we're getting to. So it's going to be uh, some oh, of these man. large <laughs> pages that are going to be in um, the book, a bunch of double pages. He's doing it very kind of old school marvel where it's just big and in your face i but love it but here's this last uh double page i did are you doing them all as doubles That's no 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 just no? Three, no 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 it's, it's just been three so far it's gonna be four when i uh get to this uh next one but you know everything's gigantic yeah these this ghost is coming through in this dream sequence and stuff and the next page after that is the thing i have to do after and i'll show what uh didn't work for ethan uh so i wanted to do a reveal of the main character where he you know is coming out of but it is it was a bit too superhero Dude, hero ish you know it's amazing for him and stuff like that so we want to come up with something that's revealing but not too revealing uh because there's going to be another thing where he's you know really into who he is and understanding his powers and i understand that and so and so i had uh did something kind of akin to this but it was going to be a double page where you know the fearsome creature comes out uh, yeah, not, as that, not as dynamic there yeah not as dynamic but we're we're going to find it and it's going to be perfect for you guys yeah yeah so you guys I'm are going to have some real cool stuff to to see here pretty soon <clears throat> Caesar yeah. says that looks incredible. And if Caesar says that looks incredible, you should feel pretty good about yourself. That's right. I, yeah, I, I, it's amazing. I, <laughs> God, I just love how giant everything looks. Everything's like enormous. Mm -hmm. and Coming at you, baby. Oh, this we was, got more? This was the winning piece from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, anyway, not a competition. Not a competition. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, Kelsey, Kelsey, it's up to you, man. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I was just going to show off. Uh, I'm not quite Ooh. as uh, as impressive as David's uh, double pagers. Your, your but... work looks small and uh, and insecure. Yeah, <laughs> it, a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm page five at this point. Um, wow. I'm messing around with different uh, pens and uh, you know different techniques. Uh, I, I was messing around with. Uh, uh, with uh, this like Fudo brush pen that I got, I've been getting a lot of like art supplies, by the way. But this this Fudo brush pen, I don't know if I like this yet. So, Kelsey, have see. you Kelsey, have you tried uh, one of these, have you tried one of these Zig pens? No, nah, I mean you guys keep telling me about it. I haven't really got it yet. But uh, well, here, 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 try this one. All right, yeah, give me a shot. Oh shit! Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was yeah, yeah, that was fast. Man, forgive FedEx. I, uh, <laughs> do you have yeah, that I thought at Christmas time I would give yeah. her a little slower. Darren, do you have that ten thousand dollars in cash that you owe me? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it dropped that on me, man. <laughs> wow, thanks. These are great. Yeah. yeah see, I'll awesome. Yeah. Good luck on the screen. Hey, hey the I'll see. Screen. Maybe next time you can drop me or throw me up some of your uh, your dollar store uh, watercolors, you know? Oh, yeah. Here. Here you go. You ready? <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm not prepared. No, okay. We're the only one way so far. Yeah. <laughs> It only falls down. Now, look at this. Yeah. Wizard Sleeves says, that was good, guys. You got me. If you can get Wizard Sleeves, the ultimate <laughs> magician. Then, right. uh, well, we, we, used, <laughs> we used Wizard Sleeves in the making of this, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so those, that's your new Anexa stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, was, I just put out a video where I was doing this last panel here uh, where I did this elaborate Kirby space background and then I splattered white all over the top of it. So you can't see any of it. So, you know, the work I put into this, it's levels, man, levels. Yeah, I, I watched that video and I was wondering, you were using that blue tape like crazy. It's like, how is he masking with blue tape? Have you ever used like um, the liquid uh, masking film? Yeah, uh, it, as they call it. Masking, masking film? film? No, yeah, uh, no. Well, I've used the, I've used liquid frisket. Oh, hang on a second. Express. I have to get some of that. It's just like Zipatone. You just you know cut out what you want to cover. You Ooh, put it on nice. the artwork and then cut it away, and so you can it's transparent. How how much is it? So you can see the artwork. Yeah. How much is it? Um, it's not cheap. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it'll save you a lot of time because that's the. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing with with splatter is, what is, I is the masking. Well, Ar Art I of use. Roy, Art of Roy. Hey, now this is a family show. This is I said this is what I use. Oh yeah, I can <laughs> tell. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but it does. Um, you know, it, it, I used to do it your way. This this will save you a lot of time. If uh, Kelsey, if you get it at the dollar store, it's only a dollar. So <laughs> yeah, but it, it's buy. permanently seals to your paper. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a oh, I got a big ten dollar super chat here. Uh, Tagamo Model Works for ten dollars. Thank you, man. He says first live stream. You guys have to. You guys have to be the funniest art stream on YouTube. I have to buy a sewing kit to repair my sides. Have a Christmas party to go tonight, so I will make it to the next live stream. Hey, thank you so much nice. for that. We appreciate it. And I couldn't agree with you more. This is the best live stream on the internet. So, and I think Danger Vanessa agrees. Don't you, Danger? I think you said funny, like funny how, like funny. <laughs> yeah, funny huh? You find like me amusing? Funny huh? You find like, me like, yeah. am I a clown? Am I a clown to you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I have actually a little art to show as well. Ooh. Oh. So I'm real, come to realize that Aaron would not ask us if we have anything to show if he didn't. Yeah. So. <laughs> finally, finally, Gary's figured it, took it out. Me, what a year two episodes. Yeah, it took me um, a year to figure that out. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this. I think it's more that he wants to see how good ours are what before the, oh, he shares yeah. this. How did that award-winning cover get on? Uh -huh. <laughs> What's this? You know, like I said, I, I know. Well, you know, I guess it, you can never see an award winning cover too much, can you? I'm guessing that you have to move those award winning covers out of the way, even to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally everywhere. What, what's um, hitting me um, is this weird math you have on that scratch paper under there. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> 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 okay, so I wow. showed this last week, but I got I, two pages I want to show you. This is, uh, what is this? Page five, I think. That's uh, Kit like, Carter, Aaron. You remember? Yeah, this is Kit oh. Carter. Sort of the graphic <laughs> novel that I'm working on right now. And uh, this is uh, Schmagma. <laughs> and, uh, Schmag, and he's barfing lava at her. See, blarch. You yeah, know. I think, and you're also inventing a sound effect there, right? And, and here it comes again. This time it's yeah. Blarch. Blarch. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, blarch. Blarch. and we move to the next page. Page, and these will be the last pages I can show you because then there's going to be spoilers after this. But uh, hey, man, you're flying. There's Jeez. Merv running out of the can. You see the toilet paper attached to his shoe. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> 
she's like, where are you at, Merv? And he's supposed to be back in the ship manning the controls. And he's, you know. Uh, and you'll see here that uh, Kit, some of her costume burned off in that lava. So the uh -oh. uh, hey. yeah. so that uh, heat protection shield didn't work too well. And then it's uh, just, uh, mature audiences only. This book? Oh uh, no, that's as far as it's going. Oh, uh, okay. It's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's refunding their money now. Um, <laughs> of course, uh, here we have that. I talked about that last time. The little sort of electronic radio uh, divider mm -hmm. between the panels as they're communicating here. Yeah. Why do I get the feeling that's the your favorite part of that? Thing? It is. That is his favorite. <laughs> He's been waiting his whole career to do that battle border right there. <laughs> then there's the uh, the schmag man. Yeah, that's a that's a great panel. Going after her, so. how do you keep it so clean? Sheesh. Um, I wash my hands a lot. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, fantastic. There's yeah. some pages from Kit Carter Planet Doom graphic novel. Nice. How exciting. Um, I got a paycheck coming then. All right. Yeah, well, that's as soon as you finish that Keep one coming, <laughs> you got to finish that pinup that I drew that was going to be the cover. Oh, is that what's holding up the last paycheck? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. I got to get busy. Yeah. All right, when you finish that, I will pay you. Um, all right, Dave so is holding up his booze. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you a bottle of JD. Yeah, uh, drop one of those down to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so uh, you guys, we had a poll that had Tim Burton Christmas, which has a ton of great options. That didn't get picked. Uh, Rankin and Bass, ton of great options, didn't get picked. Favorite uh, uh, Christmas movie, uh, preferably manga movie, got picked. <laughs> Aaron, so, you, you realize that one of those encompasses the other two, right? Well, that indeed yeah, that's is the true. question, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> because we've separated the other two, should they be included in the movie choices? For sure. Heck okay. Yeah. So, sure. It, yeah, so I, truly. Can, I can do Jack Skellington then. Sure. Right. Okay. Just... I was gonna do Die Hard, but now I guess I'll do uh, Jack Skellington. Well, you got to mix the two. You got to. Everybody's doing some variation of Die Hard, right? Like you're doing uh, uh, Grinch uh, in Die Hard. Uh, David's doing what? Rudolph the Red Nose Lethal Weapon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Green Laser says, "David, is that Billy Jack? Were you yeah. not here for that episode, Green Laser? Come Billy on, Jack. Man. Hey, hey, hey! Billy Jack never used an axe." Where's a there's no axe in there? Yeah, <laughs> that's Gary's the other one. Gary. Inflating your two oh. drawings. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Those are the those are the two fourth place uh, winners from the last couple of shows. Yeah, so, yeah. David's there, been uh, doing good, 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 topping in the placing the top four every time, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, John Malin suggests Young Blood Die Hard. Yeah, does that of course he would. I don't know if that's a Christmas character. <laughs> Is Young Blood a Christmas character? Unless you put D Young Blood Die Hard in Die Hard, but was in the Young movie Blood Die Hard, was yes. Young Blood a movie? No, but Die Hard was. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Now I get it. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> All, All right. Well, right. does everybody know what they're doing? Uh, well, no. I... Hmm. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> you sound so sure. You got this in the bag, or uh, clearly Kelsey knows what he's uh, going to do. So I know um, two things. <laughs> um, well, I I know what I'm going to do. I think. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I don't. <laughs> well, David, you never answer the question anyway, so and it, so it doesn't matter because you just start doing whatever, and then. Uh, you know my answer. Batman! No, just kidding. <laughs> and the second Batman movie was, was a Christmas movie, right? Yep. Oh, and you got, you got Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Yeah. 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 Michelle Pfeiffer. It's a Christmas movie. Come on. It is. It is. <laughs> um, okay. I Gary, uh, I went and I guess, Kelsey, this directed at you as well. Uh -oh. I went and saw Godzilla Minus One. Oh, here we go. 
And did, huh? um, I liked it. I thought it was the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen, but I didn't think it was as great as everybody else thought it was. Really? I had a, I had a couple. I had a couple of issues. I thought. I thought the acting was. Wait, time out. If you think that, then it must be great. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's high praise coming from uh, Aaron. <laughs> it has to be great now. I, um, I gave it three out of four stars because I thought the acting was inconsistent. I thought sometimes it was okay, sometimes it was not okay. I thought the lead guy was – I sometimes I was all right with him, sometimes – in fact, I thought some of the line delivery took me out of the film. It was so bad on a couple of occasions. But I thought the character story was fantastic – it was nice. It gave it this monster movie, gave it depth that you don't normally get in a movie like this. And um, I, I thought there was a couple of major ridiculous contrivances that I had to just laugh, which at the wrong spot. Number one, where she's the girls at, at work in the city. Don't put no spoilers out there. Well, this isn't a spoiler. Okay. I'm just saying that she's running in this huge crowd yeah, leading in a crowd and all of a sudden there he is oh here i'm here to save you like dude how did you find her where did you come right. from exactly and godzilla is batman okay yeah and then and then the tugboat scene which we, it has been talked about forever um just how quickly they got the tugboats tied up to the ships all those boats Hundreds. all those scenes those in boats seconds. were really fast in seconds, but other than really that, fast. other than that, uh, I really I did like it again. I like I said, I'm not a big Godzilla fan. In fact, I hate Godzilla. And uh, that whole he still looks like a cat with a small head and thunder thighs, but <laughs> they designed the monster to look like the traditional Godzilla that we're used to, but they did it so it looked you know at least decent and not a guy in a rubber suit. But I still don't love that design. But there was some great elements in it, some really nice stuff. Definitely the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen. So there you go. Three out of four stars from me. All right. There was a guy in the suit, but they used digital enhancement to fix it. Oh, that was a guy in a suit? Mm hmm. Well, that's why he has the big thighs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just Everybody. said a guy in a suit, not a big fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> guys. It's a big with fat guy in a suit. <laughs> time to stop messing around. Ready, draw. This has all been stalling while well, I. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I have to uh, here, say thanks. Let me, let me get this out of the way. I just got to move this. I don't want to actually draw on it. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's never going to start drawing with the speed of how he's moving that. Yeah. <laughs> well. You just, you know, when, you, when you've got an award-winning cover, you want to take care of it. You don't want, you know, spill coffee on it or something. Yeah. Thanks uh, in the chat, Eric and, and Henry and everybody else that's uh, posting the, the links to campaigns. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. You'll also find all the links to the campaigns in the description of this video. That, of course, is Kit Carter, Planet Doom, uh, Gary's Brush with Destiny, uh, Kelsey's Scribbles and David Williams and Ethan Van Skyver's Fearsome. And Bass Reeves. And Bass Reeves. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I bought this. I was buying Christmas presents and I, you know. You buy like, one for yourself. Yeah, well, don't you ever do that? You go on like uh, Amazon, you're like, I want to get this, 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 and you're going, ooh. Oh, well, at this point program. in my life, I. That's all I buy is presents for myself. <laughs> so I saw this shark and I thought, that looks pretty good. I'm going to get it. So now the question is, do I open it or do I wrap it and put it under the tree and give it to myself? Open it. Open it. Uh, open it. Burn man. it. Burn it. <laughs> Light it on fire. Aaron, open it on the show. Huh? Yeah. Open, open it on, it the, on show. the show. All right. Here we go. I'm going down. This is just this is just more ways to keep me from drawing. All right, here we go. Drawing for fun and profit says that shark's got thunder thighs. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Don't do it. All right, here we go. I should put this under the tree. I would have had an extra Christmas present, you guys. All right. 
He I would have rated so, so so an ex wife. So, what are you going to pretend like? Having an ex wife flashback. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> So if you made it a Christmas present for yourself, were you going to pretend like you didn't know what it was? Yes. Well, a week from now in Christmas, I'll probably have forgotten I did it. And then I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, John, <laughs> John um, Kelsey and I have an agreement. Huh? About uh, getting Aaron to stall, stalling Aaron. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know what you're talking about. No, this yeah, is no, uh, completely non-contrived. Uh, Checks now this out. would be this would be cooler if it was like twice as big, but yeah. uh, I did like the sculpt on it. I thought the sculpt was pretty good. It's not bad. That's not bad. And the jaws open. Ah. Okay, that uh, that's cool. That's horrifying. If it was giant, look at that. Okay, so how much did that set you back? Oh, it was like I, it wasn't much. It was like twelve bucks or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> they had to sell the house, but they got to have a great Christmas. <laughs> Smells all plastic. Yeah, I, yeah, I that I I would rate that as as cool. Yeah. Oh, but now, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to put it on the shelf with all my dinosaurs and and shark toys <laughs> that I've already bought, and and play with it later. Yeah. Okay. Put, I got to get a little Quint doll and shove them in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, a little head. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. It is. It is. They're, you know, these toys that they do now, the sculpts on these are getting way better. I mean, they're so good. The dinosaur stuff now you can get is amazing. There's Meanwhile, couple... David and Kelsey are inking already. <laughs> <laughs> what if I drew, what if I drew a shark, Santa Jaws, that's a Christmas movie, and eating the Grinch? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Yes. <laughs> Look at that! I got I got my little uh, shark model. I no, I, no, 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 no! I think you should draw the Grinch eating the shark. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to have a really big Grinch mouth. <clears throat> All right. So, has anybody? Do you know of anybody that's seen the uh, Godzilla movie that didn't like it? Actually, you know who didn't like it? Art of Roy. But Art, Art of Roy. Didn't like anything. He's worse than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. Like, it's nice to see somebody with a differing opinion. You know, you never know. Uh, is everybody uh, just full of shit or like, <laughs> you know, or, or are they being serious? But enough people at this point have said it's good, including Aaron, which is shocking. Uh, so definitely got to check it out now. Well, I didn't say it was great. I just said it was good. Everybody else is saying it's great, movie of the year, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, come Your on. favorite Godzilla movie. It is, but I don't like any Godzilla movie. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Actually, the one uh, where he fought King Kong, I kind of like that in a very sort of uh, you know primal level of just that new one? monsters fighting each other. You know, I did not saying it's a good movie. Just oh, saying. I love that one. That's like yeah. shock glory. That was a fantastic movie. <laughs> it's like uh, Jurassic Park three. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. Cool. well, you know, the dinosaurs are cool. So I like that movie too. It's nuts, man. <laughs> I like wow. it. I like it when they like lose all hope and then they're just like, let's just make something crazy. You know. <laughs> It's well, usually when it's the best. I, I love it how just some kid survives on this uh, island full of, you know, man-eating dinosaurs all by himself for, like, weeks. And you're just like, yeah, any 12-year-old could do that. <laughs> the Green Laser has a interesting idea. Godzilla by Wrightson would throw Aaron into a quandary. If he if he stayed true to the design of the original character, yes, it would. Well, I mean, it's like Art Adams. He he loves Godzilla, draws him all the time, and they're just fantastic drawings. But they're still thunder thigh Godzilla, so it's kind of like, yeah, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool and all, but it's it's Godzilla, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> Arthur Adams, but you know it's Godzilla. So 
Yo, I love you, man, but you know, <laughs> I know it. Godzilla. All right, I got to pull up some reference for what I'm going to do. Reference. Watched, We're almost uh, done. Caesar the other oh, night. I'm going to Robinson movie. I'm going to pass you guys so quickly that uh, your heads will spin, as my mom used to say. What was it two. What did you say, Gary? I watched Little Caesar oh. a couple of nights ago. I Is had there a pizza I, guy? I had Little Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was delicious. Yeah, nine dollar <laughs> pizzas, man. They're awesome. <laughs> Highly recommended. Little. It was made like in the in the thirties. I mean, it was. <laughs> Are you, is that the Edward G. Robinson movie? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and he's he's very young in in that film. But I bet he looks old, even though he's really young. I bet he still yeah, looks. Yeah, old. you're right. I think he probably looked old when he was born. <laughs> <laughs> How long has that kid been in there? Um. But yeah, I mean, he was. It, it's hilarious watching that movie and seeing him doing impressions of of David and Kelsey. <laughs> 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 yep, it's not who did it first, who did it best. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, it ain't me, pal. Um, uh, I, I like him in uh, uh, Soylent Green. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, you know, it makes me think of like he hasn't had. Um, he gets like a spoonful of strawberry jam, and it's like I haven't had this since I was a kid or whatever. And I start thinking about that. I'm thinking, man. I bet jam was so good back in the day. I, we don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had like really good jam. The kind that mom used to. Well, so yeah, grandma jam. I mean, that's stuff. Yeah, gra of, grandma uh, jam. Either amazing or or it'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the best it's kind of jam. Mold off the top, but uh, hmm. did you ever hear uh, Billy Crystal's impersonation of Edward G. Robinson? <laughs> He was doing Edward G from uh, the Ten Commandments. He's like, "Where's your Messiah now?" Wow! Yeah, what's a line from uh, from Little Caesar? <clears throat> I don't know. Is this the end of Rico? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a laugh line in the film. Did, uh, did you guys ever see Hail Caesar? No. Coen Brothers movie? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was great. I actually loved that movie. That was really weird. That was, uh, that was well, like uh, a low-key anti-communist movie. Yeah, it was very funny, and it was very odd, which all their movies are. But I thought George Clooney was hilarious as the, you know, that Ditz movie star. Yeah, who gets kidnapped. He doesn't even know why. I, I like uh, the 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 Josh Brolin character uh, of, like, this Hollywood fixer, you know? Yeah. If you got a problem or if you're in trouble, you send this guy, and he goes and takes care of it, you know? Okay, Kelsey, I see what you're doing. What? It's uh, it's Italian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> see if anybody gets that. Don't say anything. Um, the chat is is hanging on to the the jam thread. Let's see where to go. Uh, Wizard Sleeve says used to make. Cherry preserves from a neighbor's tree. Amazing. Mm. And then Eric goes the exact opposite of that and says, which is worse, grandma jam or schmegma? Oh. Uh, schmag. Schmagma is what we're looking for here. Well, in that case, then grandma's jam. Yeah. yeah. I mean. <laughs> and uh, Aaron, you have a super chat. A generous super chat. Well, those are the, my favorite kind. Uh oh. Good work with the stall. 
Uh, the Vespa guy for $20. Thank you so much, Vespa guy. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm a normie who found this channel about a week ago. I've been binging every since. Can't wait to get the books from all your campaigns. Merry Christmas, gentlemen. Thank you for sharing all the laughs and amazing artwork. Thank wow. you, Vespa guy. Very yeah, generous you. of you. And we're glad we, uh, we roped you in, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, and thank you for the super chat. And now I see, can see what Kelsey's drawing. <laughs> One of them. Fragile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, see, it used to be Art to Bear got all the old jokes. Now Gary's getting them. Blue Boy says, Gary used to read books in the Library of Alexandria. <laughs> well, see, I was, <laughs> Blue Boy, that's not the first uh, old joke that he's thrown my way. I'm trying to avoid them, and Aaron's like... <laughs> <laughs> laser, laser eye, right? Yeah. Toward. He has a, a warning system when somebody's insulting me. <laughs> well, I better check the chat. I got that feeling. <laughs> Spider sense is kicking in. <laughs> I'm in my tingles. <laughs> you know. Yeah, he's putting on the fishnet stockings. <laughs> That's a major award. <laughs> you remember all the lines? I haven't seen that movie in years. That, it, it's my favorite. All oh, it's one of the best Christmas Christmas film. Uh, so I can the count favorite. on you on auction day. All right. <laughs> Got a nice little collection growing. I, I know yeah. where to hit Gary. Yeah, <laughs> right in the field. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many good lines in that in that movie. I haven't uh, watched any Christmas movies or Christmas specials yet. I'm really disappointed in myself. All right, let's let's do round robin. What's your favorite uh, Christmas movie? Like, uh, I mean, it just just one. Like, what's the one that you always go back to? Your favorite from childhood even to now. Now, are we talking movie or are we talking special? Because I don't think they're not the same thing. So people tried to impress upon me that, oh, no, Rankin and Bass stuff, but they're TV movies. You're like, no, they're TV Christmas specials. So, All right. Uh, we'll do a movie. A second. Time out. Lieutenant yeah. Hughes is asking me to tell Gramps to read his super chat. Gramps? He must be referring to me. <laughs> um I have read all the super chats. Who's who's saying that I haven't read their super chats? Lieutenant Hughes. Oh, oh, he just put it in there like ten seconds ago. Well, you're not reading it. Get to it. Okay, Lieutenant Hughes for five dollars. Thank you, Lieutenant Hughes. Pushy. Um, I will be <laughs> posting my review and oh, I better be nice. Hey, uh, great! Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> for you are the man. He flipped uh, real quick. <laughs> wow! Says, I will be posting my review and thoughts on Wraith of God two tomorrow on X tomorrow. You definitely outdid yourself with that book, Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> hail to the Graybirds and hail the chat! Thank you so much, Lieutenant Hughes. And because you're posting a positive review. I will not blow you up with a cannonball for saying yeah. names. Uh, hang on, I'm detecting a little bit of sarcasm in this. Yeah. Super chat. Oh, you think you? Oh, you think he's uh, he's just gonna I'm, let me have it? I'm not. You know, I'm just saying it just seems a little a little salty. Okay. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll see. We shall see, because uh, I can always cannonball people later. <laughs> yeah, retroactive cannonballing. Yeah. There's one with your name on it. Watch yourself. All right. So okay, hold on. The cool Get the cannon ready, Aaron. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Call me Jed. Gary's work is very precise and deliberate because back in his day. Okay, here we go. You only had so much cave you could paint and you had to do it right the first time. <laughs> Well, why would I cannonball him for that? Yeah, <laughs> fairly accurate, yeah. Wow, okay, so. <laughs> I'm, Those are I'm good people. They just can't be cannonballing everybody, Gary. Yeah, right? I'm making green a list. Lasers, oh, green yeah, lasers, the green chat lasers. better turn quickly or I'm going to stop reading. <laughs> the green laser is now defending Lieutenant Hughes, saying it's been up there a while, Aaron, so long that it disappeared from the top. I don't know that that's exactly true. 
Yeah, see, I didn't even see it. That's how long it was on. <clears throat> they're, say, they're, they're saying an art to bear was hogging most of the cave wall. So you were in there fighting for cave space with uh, our good friend Art T. Bear. <laughs> All right, so I still have to answer. Okay, so it's Christmas movie is the question, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what we're whatever. About. Okay. Can I just everybody? making chit chat here? All right, while I uh, completely uh, destroy you while you're well, talking. At, oh, pardon what? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the hell did you just say to me? <laughs> yeah. What the what the <laughs> hell? Um, I always, as a kid, I loved the Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Never seen it. You no, that's yeah, that's, uh, that's a great, <laughs> a great Christmas movie. Uh, that's one that like I've seen bits and pieces of so so many bits and pieces that I feel like I have seen the whole thing. So I just never bothered to see the whole thing. Poor little Natalie Wood. Um. Yeah, her you mean, you mean when she got killed uh, off that? No, she does the imitation oh, in that. the movie of Phil Diaz. What? Do you remember that part, Aaron? Which part? Where she's never mind. <laughs> <laughs> she does an impression of Phil Diaz. <laughs> never mind. What are you talking about? <laughs> remember when Santa was trying to get her to loosen up and act like a kid? Yes. What the hell movie was this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to know. Never mind. Uh, I'm a <laughs> cat that I don't understand. That sounds like most of them. <laughs> Create a fake. Gary, ask Aaron about Gary's first Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Try See, not if that was an insult, laugh. I didn't get it. That's the only reason why I read it. It's, well, geez, it's probably because you were there when Jesus. Yeah, Green Laser. I'm not going to read yours. <laughs> what was Ro did you have Rosebud? Was that how when it, when uh, it, <laughs> it goes back farther than that? Would be my well, yeah. <laughs> he was holding the frankincense. <laughs> Okay, drawing for fun and profit. Miracle on 34th Street? Yeah, I knew that chick. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's how you get your, your uh, chat read. Yeah. My uh, my favorite movie is a weird one. Uh, it's uh, Santa Claus the Movie with John Lithgow and uh, <laughs> and uh, what's his name? The little British guy? What? Dudley Moore? Dudley Moore and uh, <laughs> that is a I forget movie. who plays Santa Claus, but like that movie is yeah, like hardcore. Like an elf in that, isn't he? Huh? Yeah, he plays he plays an elf. They like he's real forward thinking, and he's a little too forward thinking for the the North Pole and the rest of the elves. So he goes to New York City and uh, makes a bunch of stuff for John Lithgow's toy company, who's like an evil businessman, and they make like a fizzy lifting drink. Uh, that makes everybody, or it's like a candy that like makes you float. Straight up ripped off fizzy lifting drink, uh, yeah. but I don't care. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like it starts off where we we get to see how Santa Claus becomes Santa Claus, and uh, he dies. <laughs> he dies at the beginning, and then becomes Santa Claus. He freezes to death. He and his wife and Rudolph uh, and. <laughs> It's great. I really, you know, it's good lesson for kids. You know, don't. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was originally. Uh, that was a that storyline was originally going to be the opening to uh, True Justice America Way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they the kids. Yeah, but it was got shot down. Uh. <laughs> uh, Fritzy Schnitzel, I agree with you. Vicious Wife with Cary Grant. Oh, that's a good one. That's a the great Christmas wife. movie. What did you say? What's it called? Bishop's Wife. Oh, oh Cary Grant, the original, thought... not the crummy remake. David heard the bitch's wife. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, the bitch's wife. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I thought you were 
That all-time classic holiday delight, the bitch's life. <laughs> I, I thought it was, um, you know, black exploitation. The bitch's weight. <laughs> you know, the classic Lifetime Channel movie for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. No, you know, um, well, I think it was My Favorite Wife ended on a Christmas note, too. That's where... Um, Cary Grant's wife disappeared for like seven years, and he remarried. Oh, yeah. and his awesome. wife came back, and she'd been stuck in a desert island with. Uh, right. That's uh, who a great. Was, uh, yep. Who was uh, Cary Grant's roommate? Randolph Scott. Randolph Scott, and he was. A oh in real man, life. I love Randolph Scott. I've never seen that either. Yeah, don't mention Randolph Scott and and Cary Grant to David. Why you don't like him? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Randolph Scott's the man. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, old Dirty Fatty's yelling at me. Yell at the chat. That's not my job to keep repeating what the theme is. Chat, help me out here. Old Dirty right. Fatty wants to know what the theme is. Christmas stuff. Our favorite Christmas movies, sort of. Yeah, uh, Art of Roy, I said not the remake. Uh, the, the original, the one with Cary Grant. Not the Whitney Houston one. <laughs> you, know, you know what's a nice one? A nice movie is uh, the Shop Around the Corner. Ernst Lubitsch had directed with uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart, and uh, the guy that was the mayor of Munchkinland is his boss. Um, Wasn't that the one with uh, uh, Meg Ryan and? Um... Well, they based it on that. You got mail. That's based on Shop Around the Corner. <laughs> I have not seen that. Which is good. Shop around the it's corner. Christmas, it's Christmas in uh, Budapest. And you said Budapest. Jimmy Stewart is in it? Yep. <clears throat> I, love I'm in Budapest. Oh. I love Jimmy Stewart. Yep. And then, of course, Die Hard's right up there with one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's not a Christmas movie, by the way. What it is. Why is it not? Say Christmas. You He's even going, This is Christmas music. I did come out and say that I felt that because they worked Christmas music into the uh soundtrack, that it technically could be considered a Christmas film, even though I have a machine gun. Ho ho. Oh, <laughs> it's Christmas. Yep. <laughs> I think a Christmas movie has to be thematically centered around Christmas, not just taking place during Christmas time. Oh, well, that's just me, though. You know, you guys well, Lethal Weapon. Uh, yeah, Lethal Weapon. Is that a Christmas? She movie? was at the beginning. She was snorting that Christmas Coke or whatever it was, right? Like, yeah, that was, that, that was the snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. The opening scene was him in the Christmas tree place, right? No, that's after that. That girl, uh, she gets high and like jumps off the building at the very oh, beginning right, yeah. to Christmas music, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Jingle all the way. What is it? No, no, no. Um, what is it? Rocking around the Christmas tree. What was the song? I forgot. I already. don't know. I haven't seen that movie since, uh, since last Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so it is Christmas movie. Touche, yeah. <laughs> you got me. I don't know. I, you know, I, I want my Christmas movies to have, you know, like Christmas themes in them. You know, it's Henry Bemis is asking, do we have a favorite Christmas comic book cover? Mm. And his Ooh. is he says his is Vault of Horror 35. I, I'm my memory is not that good. Do okay, so now I look, what you're yeah. saying is I gotta look it up, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. Henry's in on, on the, this whole we're movie fans, not comic book fans. Wait a minute, which what was it, Gary? What was the number again? Vault of Horror 35. I think I know what's on this, but uh is that the one with Santa crazy Santa and the axe? I think, no, it's this dude's going to lop off his wife's head with an axe <laughs> Christmas time. Yep. Hey, That's everybody it. get their favorites in while Aaron's on the computer. Let's check them out. What else yeah, you got? While Aaron is... 
Let's examine this cover yeah, see and, uh, and see if maybe uh, Frederick Wortham was right. Let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Hey, I've been uh, saying he's right. <laughs> yeah, he, he was kind of right, but fuck it. Anyway. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Merry Christmas. So the yeah. guy, the guy leaves her a coffin for that. Christmas. She's like, oh, and he's gonna lop her head off. I remember that. <laughs> That's Johnny Craig. Good old Johnny Craig. <clears throat> now look at the look at the uh, the uh, the witches on the left hand side in the little circles. You've got the Vault Keeper, classic depiction by Johnny Craig. The Crypt Keeper by Jack Davis, Jack Davis yeah. and the Old Witch by Graham Ingalls. Mm -hmm. So they had defined their looks, and these were the guys that were sort of responsible for defining those particular looks for those characters. Mm. Yep. So that's uh, his favorite Christmas cover, huh? Hmm. That, yeah, that tells us a lot about you, uh, dude. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to be alone with you in an elevator. <laughs> Especially if he came in the elevator with an axe. Yeah. I can't like, think of a, like a Christmas cover. Well, he Fritzy, women. Fritzy Schnitzel is laying down comic cavalcade number 13 from 1945. Well, look at this. There's my version of uh, Johnny <laughs> Craig's. <laughs> Keeper. It just oh, so happened to have it <laughs> right next to your award-winning cover. Yeah. Well, look at this. How did and this then, get here? Uh, yeah, this is a uh, Crypt Keeper right there. The Grinch. Huh? See? Yeah, we had to talk you out of doing the Grinch again, but Gary, show your Frankenstein. <clears throat> Gary, you show know? your Frankenstein now. One up him, quick. I know Frankenstein, quick. Show it. <laughs> Shut down this air and quick. <laughs> this is going to come off kind of like a Bisley Lobo cover, I think, when I'm done with it here. So. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Bemis, I think it was good. Cool. I'm just saying it's, you know. Henry Bemis said, What? Witching Hour number 28. You know what that is, Aaron? Oh, dear Lord. Uh, <clears throat> Witching Hour 28? That I don't know off the top of my head. Um, is, that, is that Toth? 28? Yes. That goes back. <laughs> That's pretty good. That goes back. Um, I, well, I'm getting to be worried about it. Henry a little bit. Um, <laughs> How much time we got? Uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Perfect. Oh, Let's yeah. He's in a that. third one, That's... maybe. Never kill a Santa Claus. Okay, kids, it's time to meet him. Like he's hiding in the dark back there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Nick Cardi? Uh, could be. That's he's a great name on that. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, while you're at it, Eric, uh, in the chat, my favorite Christmas is Transformers UK number 41. Oh, Transformers. Yeah. Wow. And then we got one more. We didn't get Comics Cavalcade 13 by Fritzy Schnitzel. All right. Transformers UK number what? Uh, 41. Uh, and then Comics Cavalcade number 13. Oh, for crying out loud. Are you kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> well, you know, you're at the computer. You got a job to do, Aaron. You know, chop, chop. Yeah, this, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just this cover. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I'm calling lame on this cover. This is like Godzilla Thunder Thighs lame. There it Whoa. is. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Roll out. <laughs> oh, uh, that, beard, that beard fooled everyone. Is I know he pulled it off, and it's oh, it's Optimus. Well, I would have never guessed Optimus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Comics Cavalcade number thirteen yeah. from nineteen forty-five. Oh, now that sounds very Christmassy. <clears throat> Comics Cavalcade, uh, Cavalcade number forty-five. Uh, I just scrolled, and I'm. You lousy son. No, no, no. 13 from, 19, <laughs> from 1945. Okay. <laughs> I, 
Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> not my favorite uh, Christmas cover, but uh, let me, well, you guys can be the judge of it here. This is kind of like a Peeping Tom's yeah. Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah hey uh can we uh come in i see you got an extra food <laughs> no that's outside the window the guy that's gonna hack off his wife's head We're just watching you know and christmas glee this has a very distinct fan base i think yeah yeah they're like should we go in and stop him well what if he doesn't what if they're play acting i don't know <laughs> let's just see how far it goes yeah, Henry like, Rhodes really says, Hail, I'm listening while driving. Tell everyone hi. That he's hi. Yeah. Uh, keep your eyes on the road, Henry. All right. I think uh, I think we've Kelsey, how in the world are you that far along already? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for one thing, I'm not spending all my time on the internet like you some people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We have uh, our priorities that, here. Uh, we got another cover for you, Aaron, to look up. What? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, no he's yeah. giving up. No. No. <laughs> I've got I need to, a bigger uh, brush. Jeez. I what is that? Healthy. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're painting the entire page with that like little quarter inch brush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need a bigger brush. We need a bigger boat. Yeah, now there's a good Christmas movie. <laughs> that's not a is that a that's a no. summer movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, I watch it at Christmas time. <laughs> it, it just warms my heart. <laughs> this category's parameters are getting larger and larger. Now it's whatever Aaron watches at Christmas. <laughs> Have you guys seen Santa Jaws, by the way? No. Oh, no. boy. That's no, so better than Godzilla, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's next level. I don't even know what to say about it, but uh, it's become a holiday favorite around our house. It's Santa, what is it called? Santa Jaws. This is God. There, this, this. It has uh, this shark has candy canes for teeth, but they're sharp candy canes. And um, when those, he wears, when the, he wears the Santa hat candy? on its fin, <laughs> 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 wow. and stalks this family in bloody death. It's. Uh, Aaron, I assure you, I'm not trying to stall. But yeah, you got a super chat. Uh, my homie and personal <laughs> rival, Ellie McComics, gave for ten dollars. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that very much. Uh, Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number 112. Okay, now he paid me money. I've got to look it up. Yep. Yeah. you got to look it up. Uh, all right. Peter Parker, number 112. <laughs> I'm sorry, i got a pencil in my mouth, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you that's know, that's actually. <laughs> this looks like, is that Frank Miller? Uh, you guys, be the you judge. haven't shared it yet. So, yeah, I uh, know. I'm asking myself. I'm just kind of. Well, what'd yourself say? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think it is. Who is that? Oh, uh, right. that almost looks like early uh, Mezza Kelly in a weird I way. I don't think that's Miller. That's not. Let me get not, away with. The Chaken? Like early Chaken? I can. There's sort of a, I can barely, I can't really make the name out, but there's a name on there. Um, now I, now I got to find out who this is. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to do like a reverse, reverse image search, you know, uh, yeah, get some so people on it. Chad, yeah. did you pick up on that? Send Aaron images of unidentifiable artists. No, don't do that. <laughs> Doggone it, I can't. I'm trying to find a picture where I can actually read the name. Is it? Ba oh, it's Kyle Baker. Oh, oh, wow. That doesn't look like Kyle I would Baker. Have never have guessed. Blizzard I'm, in the chat called it. Wow. Good job. Jeez. Yeah. Good job. I would have we never guessed like, that. 
We got the best, smartest chat. I don't care. Yeah. yeah, I never would have guessed that. It would be, of course, Marcus Killigrew, the purveyor of all things pop culture. Knowledge would know that. And he, <laughs> and... oh, Art of Roy knew it too. He said Baker, but yeah. he might have been saying and Blizzard. Baker, I think Blizzard Kendall was first. Baker. I don't know. Uh, Blizzard says Kyle Baker. Yeah, um, he was first. Yeah, Blizzard, I think, got it first. Yeah. Oh, Marcus. Oh, hang on. Marcus got it first. Oh, he did. Okay. Yes. Sorry, Marcus. Marcus got it. Marcus, okay. of course. Marcus got it first. <laughs> you win what? the no prize. Dot, yeah, I, I apologize for doubting you. He says Santa's approaching Detroit now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys, uh, you, you Wizard guys, Sleeves, Aaron, heads up. Wizard Sleeves says, now I have holiday theme books to hunt down. Yep. Well, that's what we're here for is to get you guys to spend your money first on our stuff and then on other people. <laughs> um, so have you guys seen Plug's Santa Claus book? I mean, you certainly have. Right? Oh, yeah. God, that was one I, I always wanted. I never could afford when I was younger. That and uh, Sienkiewicz did one, too. Yes, but I uh, actually like Plug's better. I've got both of them. The St. Cabbage's is pretty cool, though. But his is more like it's like spot illustrations for the book. Oh, yeah. Plug's is a graphic novel sort of thing. Break it out. Do like a little show and tell. What do you... Uh, <laughs> all right. What? Yeah, don't talk What's about... What's he laughing at? Don't talk mm -hmm. about other people's art unless you, you know... Well, like I said, I've never unless seen it. It's a great it. opportunity for me to, like, uh, <laughs> stop what I'm doing and check it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like Kelsey's tricking me somehow. What? No, I'm just an art enthusiast, and you you have a lot of knowledge. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm on, I'm on right, There it is. There it is. Ah. The right. life and times and the life and adventures of Santa Claus by Michael Plug. Page one. Page one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got the one. Look at I got a little print in here that uh, the sign print. Wow. Fifty one oh, yeah, out of five hundred signed by. Uh, and he said best wishes, Plug. So he said best wishes because we're friendly. Well, no, he was saying best wishes to Plug. You know. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this old grumpy guy on the rock. I love this stuff here. Yeah. Oh wow. This I thought all, that was all painted. Oh, yeah, it looks black and white. Yeah, he inked it and then watercolored the whole thing. Well, what should he do first? Watercolor it or paint it? What? <laughs> you, you said he watercolored it and painted it. So no, I, I was said just he inked it first and then he watercolored Oh, okay. So I was yeah. in the studio. Gary, did you go up with this to you were up there, weren't you in Seattle? We or outside of Seattle, yeah. we went to his house. Yeah, it was with Richard and and uh, another guy. I can't remember his name. Yeah, and we uh, we got into Plug's studio, and these pages were laying all over the place. Remember yeah, that? his artwork, like it, yeah, it was like Kelsey's studios. <laughs> did artwork did he uh, did he do it right on the page, or did he? Uh, yeah, I mean, like right on the inks, or did he yeah, do it yeah. like blue line technique? No, he. Oh. You no, know, he did it on the page on the inks, mm. and uh, I tried to get him to sell me one, and he wouldn't do it. Wise so man. he said he wanted to hang on to him. You got you can find the other stuff he did, like the Tom Sawyer and stuff. Those pages are available, but not not these. He sold them all to Gary. Well, yeah, right behind my back. As soon as I turned around, I said, Can I use your bathroom? I came back and Gary's Gary's got this whole portfolio full of stuff. Like, <laughs> We'd already made a deal before we yeah. <laughs> what? I gotta We're find going to hold on a second. I gotta make a phone call. <laughs> I gotta find a good picture of Whoville uh, from the movie. Um, you remember that giant lunch his wife was was trying? Oh to my serve gosh, him? yes, it was so good. I was like, we were invading his home, and they like fed us like uh, like we were gonna buy something. Nice. Yeah. That's well, a good. I guess she knew we were. We were artists, and we hadn't eaten yet that day. <laughs> yeah. We surely were not going to buy anything because <laughs> we're artists. Good comic book family host, you know. That's yeah. and, uh, and Roz. Uh, I always hear the story about Roz doing that. People going over to 
Kirby's house. Yeah, someone was was uh, speculating yeah, if, if, if over there. Mike had uh, ate like that every single day. No, uh, he, he had. Well, they were. Uh, they lived out. What was that island out there? Is it Swan Island? Yeah, some or? island and off off Seattle Sound. Yeah, and they um, he had like this um, little garage type. Um, uh, what would you call it, Gary? It wasn't really a. Um, it wasn't a, It wasn't a garage. So it wasn't big enough. It was, it was more a like barn, a barn, wasn't it? Huh? Wasn't it a barn? No, it was like a little workshop, like a Santa might have. <clears throat> and <laughs> like I'm no, remembering it, it larger than you are. It'd be like a, um, like a, a an oversized uh, where you put your tools and your shovels and what am I? A shed. A shed. Okay. <laughs> but it was. It was bigger than that, but it had like windows all the way around it. Like, yes, from, yeah, or, Mike, two sheds, plug. <laughs> and you walked in, and there was counters all the way around the walls, and then there was an island in the in the middle, and uh, there was just and and windows on three walls right above where the the counters were. Yeah, and you have a good memory. And. There was artwork everywhere, paint everywhere. And it looked like a legitimate studio. Yeah. And he had a little phone on the wall that he could that his wife could call him from the house. And he had this yeah, that's phone. right. <laughs> wife could call him on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, they had this they had this Victorian uh, house that was like three stories or something. And um yeah, a giant house for two people. Yeah, and uh they had the basement where he had all of his, his, that's where he had all of his artwork and stuff that wasn't in the studio, but like in flat files and stuff. And like, it was old ghostwriter covers in there. And we were just like, Oh man. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, Eric. Hutfuls. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, Eric Huffles. Yeah. He, wow. Foster Christmas cover. Beautiful. And he's Aaron. He's sending you the link. Hey, that's polite. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, but I still have to like go look at it. Send the link to uh, Gary's email, and Gary, send that to. Uh, oh no, no, Are David's you? email. Yeah. And what? you also have a uh, super chat. Oh my goodness! See if I can get both of y'all busy. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> You know I don't entertain those people. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by those people? I don't... What are you talking about? Uh, leg, leg kick for five dollars. Thank you so much, leg kick. Appreciate that. He says, Plug looked at Aaron and said, How did you get in my house? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh -huh. Yeah, were you there? How'd you know? <laughs> uh, Paul Taylor, our resident biologist, uh, sends ten dollars Canadian my way. Thank you so much, Paul. Appreciate that. Um, Air Canada continuing to earn. Title of worst airline in North America. Flight delayed a day and a half. Second year in a row I've had to deal with these clowns. How are the airlines in the States? I don't travel during the holidays, so I don't know. Yeah, they aren't any better. Um, yeah, it depends on the airlines. I guess Southwest had like a real problem not too long ago where their computers went down and you know people flight delays. I think that was like Thanksgiving or was it... Uh, yeah, I think it was around Thanksgiving or something. So yeah, um, Aaron, Eric is uh, posting the links to our campaign. So I would highly recommend you read his faucet cover. Yeah, chop chop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which Get one? The let out, Presty. Where is it? Uh, Get the let out. Just yeah, Eric, Eric, got, the... Eric said shed. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for. We finally found it. Uh, this is more sophisticated. A work grotto. My drawing for fun and profit. Uh, I like that. Yeah, Grotto. Grotto. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Where's oh, that Eric? Oh, Boston not, Christmas. Not, okay. not to get mistaken with Guado. Good. What's a Guado? <laughs> no, Guado from Star Wars, the little Guido guy that had <laughs> the little Guido guy, Guado. <laughs> that, I, I was thinking of that, the Schwarzenegger movie. Oh. <laughs> I thought of that little blue guy, right? That Anakin worked for. Yeah. Hey, Anakin, the water, the green uh, you got to get the clean the junk up, Anakin. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, 
I'm a fan of that guy. I wanted to. Are are you gonna are you gonna look up that link? Oh, I leave me alone. He even gave you the link, and then after you do that, the link is that link. After you do that, evil one super chat. I got it. What did I miss? Evil one super chat. I did not miss. Oh, I did. No, he just it just popped. We don't have oh a lot gosh, of time here. I am like the pressure. I'm trying to draw. I'm looking at thoughts. <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh. Evil one for five dollars is presenting the best Christmas cover from yours truly, uh, Slab City Comics. You guys, I can't click on these. They don't take me there. You have to copy and paste, Aaron. Oh my gosh! Make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet that when you first discovered copy and paste, you thought it was the greatest invention ever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's copy and paste? <laughs> I kid because I care, you guys. Um, uh, let me see if I can. You have to narrate. We don't know if you're doing it or not. I, I don't know if I'm doing it either. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Damn, G. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me try. Well, because it's a super chat, it won't let me uh, copy it. Really? Yeah. Um, write it down and then uh, rewrite it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to find, find Eric's first. Write it we'll down walk you through it. it. Uh, well, let's see. Eric Huttle says, is that a pencil in your mouth or are you happy to see me? Oh my gosh! <laughs> kind of a uh, little of column A, little of column B. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Paul Taylor is laying down some wisdom. Is he? So fitting is caring, and caring is sharing. Wait. By the transitive property, kidding, kidding is sharing. Is sharing. Mm, that's too scientific for me. No, I, I, I follow that. So we love you guys. Yep. All right. No, just, I'm gonna, just I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find this if it kills me. Yeah. And it may yeah, kill just, me. Just kidding. Um I I don't remember what the Eric Hutfels it was Fawcett uh, <laughs> was uh, Captain Marvel, right? He didn't, yeah, he didn't say what the character was. Oh, here we go. Well, okay, this is the one I'm going to do because I like this. There's a ton of Fawcett Christmas covers, but this is this is maybe the most magical of them all. Why am I doing this when mm-hmm. I should be drawing? Mm-hmm. Uh, you've already lost. It's not a competition. Oh, did I? Say, I, I didn't meant to say that, that in my head. Sorry. That looks like that could be uh, our good friend, uh, not Lou Fine, but um, Mac Rayboy. Did Mac Rayboy? Let me see. Yeah. Yes, wow. that is Mac. Rayboy. That, is Mac. that is. That is. There you go. Who's Mac Rayboy? Mac. <laughs> Mac. He's a who's Ray a boy. Who's a gay boy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Gray, gray, boy. gray boy. That's new one to me. He's good. Does he specialize in Santa Claus uh, drawings? What does he do? Oh, Captain Marvel Jr. Captain Marvel, yeah. Oh. Mac Ray Boy. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Sure, whatever you guys said. Ray Lovejoy, got it. (laughs) Okay, Aaron, are you on this one? Um, Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, (laughs) I, I think maybe, you know what? I think I can't copy it from StreamYard. I think I have to be on YouTube to copy it. I think that's the problem. And guess what? I'm not on YouTube. Um, slabcitycomics.com. Evil Ernie. Okay, I, I gotta be able to find. It. So it's like an it's an evil Ernie. Oh, Christmas. fun! It can't be that hard to find, right? No. Baddest battles that never happened too. So there was a baddest a bad battle that never happened one. That doesn't make no. a sense. Well, I'm going to go if out. Never and happened. Them. Then how could there be two of them? All right, this has got to be it. If this ain't it, evil one, tell me, and I'll, I'm not going to look anymore anyway. But uh, kidding, of course. I kid because I care, and because I care, I share. So therefore, kidding is sharing, right? Is that how it goes? <laughs> is that it? 
I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to pay attention. That looks like a Christmas, and the little elf is skewered in the, in yeah. the chest. People are wow. reminding me that Kelsey's almost done with two drawings, and I'm like still blue lining. <laughs> That looks like my Christmas when I was a kid, me and my brother <laughs> opening up our presents. <laughs> Paul Taylor's like, close enough, Aaron. He's like giving me a little pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brian's suddenly old, saying, okay, I'm home for the holidays. Let's start the show. <laughs> Good thing. We've been waiting. Jeez. But at this point, it's like I am just starting, so... I'm not using that. Okay, them. hold on a second, David. Uh, a guy in this room, in his room, is saying Black Santa. What? <laughs> no such thing. You would never get your gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't touching that. <laughs> Okay, quick. I'm going to read another super chat. Even I got my limits. Henry Bemis saying Mac Ray Boy was so good. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Gary, it's funny. <laughs> 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 oh, so funny. Yeah. Oh, did you catch the game yesterday? Oh. <laughs> Henry Bema says, I don't like the way Gary said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Old Dirty Fatty is saying uh he wants to see Hulk number 378. Yeah, we all want stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I, I tried. You guys, I've got to ink this. I can't look up any more covers. All right. Yeah, Aaron is, yeah, Aaron is like been distracted for 30 minutes and he's drawn for 10 minutes. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Well um, done. Yeah. yeah. I It's coming on, though. I can feel it. I'm uh, about ready to just uh, really get COVID. going here. No. <laughs> Paul Taylor says Andy and Dennis were drinking heavily on their stream. Yeah, I, I was watching that. Yet some oh, really? guys seem more in, inebriated. Who was? Andy's, and uh, Andy's stream where he's like celebrating his his sending out books with with uh, Dennis. But he's they saying were, we seem were drinking more. heavily. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Aaron, I got some bittersweet news for you. Oh, no. You got another super chat. <laughs> well, I'll just like to focus on the sweet. Um, <laughs> evil one for $2, 15 plus shots in my back, and this stream is more painful. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he, just had, he just had a bunch of cortisone shots. So we're praying for evil one. So, wow. Uh, glad Success. we're able to. Uh, Take your give you a different kind of pain to take your mind off of the. Uh, We're after the worst sh drawing show next year. That's what that's right. you know. You know a win's a win. We got to set new goals. <laughs> Fritzy Schnitzel says, "See the see. This is how you get your. Uh, everyone take note, Fritzy Schnitzel. This is how you get your chat read. Aaron is so far behind. There is no way he can pretend he won again." <laughs> wow. Um, uh oh, here comes the cannonball <laughs> or the nuke. Uh, he doesn't have time to be doing cannonballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't got time for that. Yeah, you're right. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, a twofer. I know. Hey. Nobody gets that. I figured I'd better get him in there while I can. 
So. Man, he's in rarefied air to get that. Jeez. Something tells me that's what that's going out to all of us. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's exactly right. Yeah, you just encapsulate everybody in one big explosion. Death to you all, <laughs> and to all a good night. <clears throat> All right. Well, I still have a chance to ruin it, so um, <laughs> there's still a chance to come back. Was, yeah, you still have plenty of time to ruin it, so uh, don't let me paper, stop you. Paper's starting to buckle. Yeah, go to the other one. Oh, that's true. <laughs> time to make some time on my other girl. <laughs> What's up, baby? Where you been? <laughs> Let's see if we can do something here. <laughs> Let's make, this, let's make this happen, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you said that way too easily, as if you're comfortable with that whole thing, which leads me to believe <laughs> there's something I you want to tell us. Whew. I'm making time with my ladies. Says, I'm going to mark this day down in my diary. <laughs> <laughs> that's high. That's either a a great compliment or insult. Yeah. Dear diary, I sat through two and a half hours of crap. <laughs> 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 uh, he told me it was an award-winning show. And this yeah, was three hours. I'll never get back. <laughs> Suckers. Ah. <laughs> you know, I was going to use my zig pen, but I gave it to Kelsey. So yeah, <laughs> he, he didn't even use it. No, I did. I oh no, I didn't. No, yeah, I did. yeah, I did. Where, I used where? it on this one. I used it on this uh, on the eyes wide shut one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Heat Miser is asking if you're going to burn anything tonight. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Uh, my chestnuts, maybe. I don't know. Is that his name? Uh, he Man, Miser. you almost it's... made me mess up. Don't be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to light these nuts on fire. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm like pulling these long lines in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Excellent. <laughs> His plan is working to perfection. <laughs> uh, I got my Chinese red going on over here. Yeah. Like Aaron. I have to do something about this. I, I got to admit, my power color is orange. I love orange. And so even when I do red, I like it to be a little bit orange. So you're finally embracing it. Yeah. I'm it's I'm just a I'm a coward when it comes to <laughs> Yeesh. I'm sorry I left at the wrong part. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, keep no, going. I'm a coward when it comes to uh, laying color down. I just like I'm a, I'm afraid to go bold. So I like I like to work my way into it slowly and so doing layers. I don't use you know pure colors like uh, someone like Kelsey who's <laughs> radical color savage and just gets in there. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, uh, a piece, uh, a painting where I was trying to do um, Sokol, I guess is his name. He, he did a lot of paintings for was it Playboy or um, we you know what I'm talking about? It's like Sokol or Skull something. I well, can't Skull remember. Is, uh, Skull is chewing tobacco, so I don't think that's it. No, no, no. Yeah. But he, he would work in uh, I think gouache, but he would just lay on these like just pools of color and, and uh, just was real bold with it. Uh, I love that. Uh, yeah, so Ronan, Ronan says, say it again. Here's Ronan's giving a lesson on how to get there. This comment read. Aaron colors like an old man easing into a hot bath. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> Yeah, I can't get mad at that. That's exactly <laughs> true. It's so true. <laughs> and then my paintings end up taking me 10 times as long because I end up with that same bright color at the end, but it's I'm afraid to just lay it on there, so I just like slowly build it up. Slowly I turn. 
inch by inch. Step <laughs> by like, like a virgin getting laid for the first time. I do it really fast. I mess it up, and then I think about how I could do it better later. <laughs> uh, is that about right? <laughs> Yeesh. Oh, hey, have you guys uh, have you guys seen the uh, Christmas Carol animated? Uh, it's like a thirty minute thing that Chuck Jones produced. He didn't do the animation, but it's fantastic. You, you said this last time. I still haven't checked it out. Maybe you could bring it up. We could watch it on the show. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that the one with, that's not the one with Mr. Magoo. You're talking about. No, oh, that was a good one too. The mystery yeah, that, one. that was great. Uh, no, this is actually it's produced by Chuck Jones, and uh, it's really cool. And the the animation is all like sort of this loose, sort of sketchy line work. And it's just uh, it you know it's it's what you'd consider you know it's done in a realistic style, I guess. But uh, I don't remember that. It's only thirty minutes long. It's on YouTube. If you just look up. Chuck Jones Christmas Carol, you will not be sorry. Okay. Sean Fun and Profit is asking Kelsey, is that water all watercolor or is there colored ink in there? Uh, no, so far this is just watercolor. My uh, dollar store watercolor set. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm going to do hopefully some gouache, like opaque gouache over the top. I don't think that'll work very well. So we're going to see. I will. Well, thanks, you got plenty of time to ruin it, so don't let me stop you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, yeah. I don't. Uh, how much time we got? I got time. Uh, we've got about uh, 45 minutes. Aaron, are you planning on coloring your piece? Not anymore. Gary. <laughs> You need to shut up, is what you need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, you know, yeah, the same question. Are you being inquisitive? Of that? Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I would like to, but uh, it seems. Uh, Did you hear Gary's pimp voice come out? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah man. <laughs> it depends how this, uh, this thing ain't. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, <sighs> I love hearing all the groans of uh, <laughs> the groans of failure. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Mine is. Aaron, if you're gonna color that, I recommend you use a bigger brush. <laughs> I think we're gonna need a bigger brush. I have. Well, actually, I have a pretty good size brush. So. But you know, you know how people were telling me don't use this brush because it's not waterproof. And then I've used it and it hasn't bled. Well, you know when I did the blob drawing? Uh, was that last week or the week before? You guys don't even remember, do you? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't remember what I did last week. Uh, no, actually, last week I did this award-winning uh, pen drawing, the barbarians with a ballpoint pen. Would you show oh, us the award, Aaron? Uh, it's in, coming in the mail, so I don't know that. And then we did this, if you remember. Um, I can't remember what the topic was, but I did the blob, right? And this bled like crazy. No, I remember it. This bled like crazy. The black did, or at least it kind of like smeared. And which uh, pen did you use for that? The same one. I used the same brush pen. So I don't know. Is the paper the same? Mm, no, actually. Oh, you know what it is? <clears throat> this is a slick paper, and I bet it – that's what happens. That ink sits on top, and it doesn't sink into the paper. So it's much more likely to be affected than uh, – and this is this is more of a – this has got more of a tooth to it. So this ink maybe will – because, like, the Turok one, I inked with this brush, and it, I painted that, and it didn't bleed at all. But then I did that blob one, and it bled like crazy. Mm. Yeah, so it's probably the paper. It's a paper. Yeah, paper. Yeah. See, Kelsey, it does matter where you get your paper. <laughs> eBay. <laughs> and I keep I, I I opened up a drawer in my one of my flat files, 
and <laughs> there's all these cardboard like the backing the cardboard backing from like drawing tablets and I'm like, why am I saving these? And then, I, then it dawned on me. I was like, yeah, David was, you were using those like crazy. And you're going, these are awesome. You got to, you know, save them, use them to draw on. Yeah, David's not using those anymore. No, I noticed that. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to get back to it. Hey, suckered you into it. <laughs> uh, Aaron, John Smith in the chat says, Aaron's award is being drawn by Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> Now, okay. John Smith, John Smith, I've known longer than I've known my wife. Wow. And uh, he was your first wife. Are you using that? In oh, the my book? goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say known, I don't mean in the biblical sense. Oh, OK. <laughs> How do you know John Smith? Uh, from San Diego. He used to come to all the San Diego cons and uh, I had cheap artwork. So he came over to visit with me. <laughs> And uh, wow, you are old. Did you know Pocahontas too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, don't you wish you had those pages that you sold for pennies now? No, they I suck. Sure do. Yeah, I do. I wish I had them so I could like bury them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would like to read. I see pages of mine coming up for sale, you know, that somebody else has, and, and I can't afford them. I want to buy them back. <laughs> Dude, I just saw somebody put up our, uh, you know, the Frankenstein cover from Sludge? Mm -hmm. That just showed up on eBay, and it was like just $200 or something like that. And I was going to bid on it. It might have been three, and uh, but it was, it was affordable. I would have bought that. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to get that, and I forgot to bid on it. An art dealer bought it. Now it's up on his site for like $1,500 or $2,000. Uh, damn. <laughs> uh, they know how to make money. We so suck at this. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. That yeah. just made us all sad. <laughs> we had a, it was like a moment of silence for the death of our artwork. <laughs> uh, very similar to when M manga died on this very show. Uh, yeah. Oh, we can sure kill them, can't we, boys? Yeah. <laughs> like a war film up in here i know we should be bringing life to the masses not death but yeah, <laughs> we are all right so, time uh, to try some uh we got up guys angela uh -oh. curious in the chat so behave yourselves <sighs> angela angela causes a lot of trouble she, i was about to cut loose man <laughs> <laughs> she, angela, go away so david could cut loose yeah. shouldn't have said anything I have some racial jokes on deck. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> it's all part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got I got like just a little bit of white left in here. Might be able to do something with it. <laughs> Running out of how we got a little time left. You're gonna have to roll it up like dogs running by the leg lamp. That's it's incredibly the, yeah, it's, stupid. It's a bumpless dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. No, I'm giving it up. Dogs. <laughs> oh. I lost my brush. You're in luck. <laughs> you want me to draw oh, another one? Found it. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so right. you guys do you guys have any um like long-standing holiday traditions at all like um certain movies you watch every year or certain things you do nope, nope. <laughs> that was fun okay i just thought no. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, i never really had a lot of traditions uh or, or at least i i didn't uh, my family did i always hated it I mean, besides, <laughs> uh, they're all like, come on, let's get together as a family. And I'm like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Do I have to again? Yeah. I don't like right. you guys. <laughs> I'm like, give me the Ambien. Let's do this. <laughs> well, I think if you have kids, that helps to kind of establish uh, which. Uh, yeah. David's has like 20. 
Yeah, it is true. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you still have 20 or do you lose any? A thread no. from Damn. Damn. <laughs> Great Wolf Graphics. <laughs> oh, says, my God. Wow, that was that terrible. Someone, what that's you like someone who bought one of my old Robert E. Howard art prints I did 15 years ago for $1,600 at a yard sale at some rich guy's house mm. a few weeks wow. ago. Wow. Wait a minute. Read that again. <laughs> Yo, come again. Wow. That's like someone bought one of my old Robert E. I'm sorry. I said Robert E. Howard. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Robert E. Lee art oh, prints okay. I did 15 years ago for $600 at a yard sale at some rich guy's house a few weeks ago. Wow. So someone bought his. Yeah. Translate that for me, Gary art print for $1,600 that he did 15 years ago. Wow. I can only dream of that kind of money for stuff I did now. <laughs> yep, never too late. Well, thanks for ruining the show. <laughs> really uh, great. Advisor says a cover of Sludge 5 is for sale for $1,750. And Aaron, you could have picked it up for a song. I think I sold it. When I sold it, I think I sold it for, well, this would have been back in like 94, uh, probably. So I think I sold it for either 250 or $300. I'm maybe you're probably happy to get that. Yeah, maybe 350 because I really liked it because it had Frankenstein on it. Uh, so yeah, so now it and, and that guy just bought it on eBay for less than three fifty. Less than that, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, so that shows you how well our our artwork is aging. We can't even give it away. I guess the test will be if this dude can actually sell it for that much. On right, his what you ask for and what you get are, there are two different dollars. things sometimes. Yeah. Henry Bemis says he just looked it up, and that's a great cover. Thank you, Henry. It was very. Uh... Yeah, I, I I only had chicken scratches to work with, so I. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I had to do heavy lifting. Oh my gosh! Actually, you know, it was uh, Gary's the one who talked me into putting all the reflection of. Uh, so you know what you should do because I, I was kind of a rights and ask thing, right? So it was Frankenstein, and it, it was in this lab and there was all these vials and uh, you know, those kind of uh, rights and ask big bulbous, you know, that had, they were like, what do you even call those things? Beakers, I guess. Beakers, were, yeah. 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 And uh, you were like, you know what you should do? You should have like sludges reflection in all those. And I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. And then I drew it. And I was like, <laughs> six years later, but Gary had yeah. naked. So I guess I got my revenge, but that was a perfect impression of Gary. I, that was uncanny. <laughs> You think so? Well, Yo, dude, you should like totally do the <laughs> <laughs> That's how Gary used to roll back in the day. Yeah. Right. I had to wise up. <laughs> you realize his pain wouldn't work if you talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> I blame public schools. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the greater regret for me is the original art of other people that I had that I sold that I wish I hadn't. Yeah. Like you had that yeah. great Redondo uh, Savage Tales cover. Ooh. Oil painting. Oh. Don't oh. remind me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Better times. Yeah. Well, that just goes to show you when you're an artist, you have good times and then you have to sell everything on the bad times. <laughs> and then buy it back for twice as much as you ever made. Right, when you have the good times come back again. Right? <laughs> hey, that made me stop buying art because I sold some stuff. I said, I'll never go through this pain again. Yeah. <laughs> I collect art nobody cares about. That's uh, that's how I do it. <laughs> that's the key. <laughs> uh, Dan Lawless in the chat says, the Bumpus Hounds ate the turkey, then Kelsey's wolves rushed in and ate the family members. <laughs> yeah. Dan is the original dangerous one. Dangerous Dan Lawless. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. You never know what he's going to draw or say. Or slap. Yeah, you have to. 
He's Sometimes sorry. he has to be censored. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dan has this great trick where he'll uh, he'll wait till someone does a campaign and then he'll like do a picture of the thing and then you kind of like oh now I got to buy this. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he single-handedly helped all of your campaigns. <laughs> that's You're doing the, fan art. That's why I would never get him to do anything of mine. Because <laughs> sorry, Dan. So don't ask. Hey, don't want to be showed <laughs> up. <laughs> I, I I don't. Uh, I'm used to it. You could do things for me. That's fine. <clears throat> I'll take all of the art. All the art. Well, that's why I'd ask all of you guys to do something for me, so I'd be safe. I'd be good. Oh. So never feel bad about it, right? <laughs> like, yeah, of course, do a pinup. Yeah. <laughs> there Knock you yourself go. out, kid. Yeah. Okay. There's, uh, there's Dan Lawless. The, this is the PG rated version of his drawing. I had to uh, remove some nipple topography, but um, still got the highlights on it, though. Yeah, he's supposed to. He's supposed to have. He was supposed to fix that himself, and he. he I don't know what he's doing, but I haven't seen the revised version yet, Dan. No need one. It's perfect. Leave it alone. Well, no, he was going to beef up some of the line work because he did it just kind of as a sketch, and if I blow it up, it doesn't. Uh, oh, it pixelates. It, it won't uh, reproduce as well. You gotcha. So um, let me catch up on the chat. Uh, drawing for fun and profit, Aaron. What would well, you say you, know. you have more of, buyer's remorse or seller's remorse? Aaron never has seller's remorse. He'll <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, no, here, honestly, I have way more seller's remorse because I, I never, ever, ever buy anything that's not a good deal. Um, <clears throat> so I, I don't think I've ever bought anything that just like, the bottom fell out of the market. And I was like, I can't believe I spent, you know, a thousand bucks on this or whatever, but I've sold stuff that I wish I had back. And I really regret a couple of opportunities to buy original artwork that I did not buy. Yeah. I'm in that Cash country. pages from EC comics would have been one of them. Oh, uh, wow. was Chicago back in, I was 94, 95, whenever the Ultraverse action figures were coming out. Um, and I was at Chicago, and I think I had made, like the entire show, I think I made $500. Mm. And uh, so I was looking around this art dealer. He literally had a stack, I don't know, three inches of EC pages wow. from their horror comics. <clears throat> and he had one of those half-page uh, splashes that had the Old Witch by Graham Ingalls. So it had like a big... <clears throat> the old witch would be sitting there introducing the story. And then like, there was like three couple panels at the bottom that were actually part of the story. So it wasn't a full splash, but it was like, a you know, and 500 bucks. And I sat there and I was like, I knew that the trip, I only made $500 and the trip cost me, I don't know, you know, with the airfare and hotel at the time, I can't remember. It was less than 500, but I was like, if I buy this with the $500 I made at the show, I've got this massive visa bill. I'm not going to be able to pay off. And so I didn't get it, but I should have anyway. Yeah. I had the chance to buy a Frazetta uh, pen sketch of a barbarian for a hundred dollars. And I passed it up. Mm. Um, that's, that's yeah. horrible. Evil one. <laughs> Don't tell us stuff like asking that. Aaron, who did this Christmas sludge in the sewers with Santa artwork? Me. It's uh, me. He's got a link. Yeah, I know which one he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, look it up, Aaron. He's but I, think Gary, I think Gary inked it. I don't think I inked it myself. I'll have to look it up now. Because uh, I got nothing better to do. Thank you. I would you. like to see it. I would like to see it. Um, I would too. Of course you would, Kelsey. <laughs> Uh, what am I looking up? Oh, uh, Sludge Christmas Lopresti. Let's see. There's Lord Pumpkin cover. How is that going to do anything with Christmas? Why did Lord Pumpkin come up? Um, that was the Sludge uh, Red Xmas. Red Xmas Sludge. Little presty. 
Come on, baby. Oh, there it is. Pantheon, yes, it is a tax write-off. The housing as a business expense, yes, it is. Um, this is overly colored and dark, uh, like they used to do it back in the day. They used to drive us crazy. Um, it's like, why are you coloring so dark? Why is it so saturated? You can't see anything. Oh, it looks cool. No, it doesn't. Oh, I used to. Get I hated it. the coloring. There was only like a couple guys that did a really good job. Albert Calieros and um, uh, who was the other guy? George, um, George something. How do you remember them, their names? They did. It. He remembers everybody that did a ter did a terrible job on it. Yeah, <laughs> see that, that, I like to never forget voices, but his palette is just is too dark. Um, there you go. That yeah, there we go. Special pinup by Lopresti, Martin, and Young. I don't know who Young is, but I know who Lopresti and Martin are. Was that just like a pinup somewhere? Well, what happened was Plug was doing that Christmas special. And Mark Farmer inked it. I don't know if you remember that or not. Yes, it I really, do. It was really cool looking. Plug didn't like it because it was too slick, but I really liked it. Yeah, I did too. Because yeah. it was so slick. Mm -hmm. And um, Yeah, I love Mark Farmer, man. But he He's wasn't right. going to do a cover. And they said, Aaron, we need a cover for this book. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, you get to do a cover for a Plug book. Well, then he just unannounced turned in a cover after I'd done this. So they ran it as a pinup in the back of the book. Interesting. Hmm. Um, evil one sent you a super chat. Yeah, and he's okay. Check your Facebook Messenger for me ASAP. In other words, Aaron, stop drawing and go to <laughs> Facebook. And there's oh, somebody. Wow. Somebody is paying you to stop. I know. Drawing. They're paying me two dollars to run their errands for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be know. grateful. All right, there it is. Let's see. Uh, well, this is, yeah, but this is the same thing. It's just in black and white. Well, let's read the black and white one. Just give me a second. Man, <laughs> it's pushy. I got to move stuff around. No, Eric, move it. Pictures are flowing in every direction. Hang on a second. Here, um, here we go. Courtesy of the evil one. Okay, see? All that sweet cross hatching is is was smothered with the coloring. Now, Chris, do you own this? Is that why you sent this to me? This looks like this is like a photograph, not a scan. So I'm wondering if he actually has this. So that's not the real Santa. That's like the sidewalk Santa. See, because he's got our little uh, his little thing on here, help clean up our sewers, which made sludge mad because you know he lives in the sewer and he's sewage so not to be confused with garbage man of course are two completely different things yep. <laughs> evil one's just saying it's better in black and white well that's usually true but you know I what agree. paul taylor won't agree he won't buy anything unless it's in color please kelsey because kelsey always colors yeah, but I love black and white. It's my crutch, don't you know? Color. For someone who loves black and white, you sure do a lot of color work on this show. Are you just trying to show people up? Is that really what this is all about? No, it's my crutch. <laughs> like, cover up your mistakes with the color? Yeah, it does. Yeah. This, uh, it would be embarrassing if I didn't color. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing now. Well, it's it's kind of frustrating because David and I, when we first started this show, it was just black and white drawings, no expectations beyond that. And then you come along. I, 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 I was on that very same show. I don't, you know, it's not like you guys had a long history of black and well, white. Hang on a second. No, we had we had several warm up shows, didn't we, David? Kind of leading up to the uh, to a draw show. Yeah. <laughs> No, we did because I'd have David on all the time and we would just draw stuff. But it was always like, you know, the expectation was just black and white, you know. And I've never know. even heard of you until this show started. I don't know what you're oh talking about. Oh, my gosh. You have a YouTube channel? Oh, what? my gosh. <laughs> hey, speaking of YouTube channels, are you uh, like uh, 
still doing YouTube, like your show every morning or something? No, no. I, I, I just got so much going on. And I'm, I'm kind of phasing out uh, any live stream other than this one and like a few others and maybe pop in here and there. But um, I'm going back to like doing recorded videos and things like that. I just enjoy that a lot more. So you're, you're basically getting back to your adult film roots. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the live streaming, I mean, uh, every now and then it's great, but it, it can like and has and still does dig into my uh, actual oh, productivity. So It is brutal. I mean. Yeah. And, you know, I think uh, if anybody's got a problem with that, you know, you just got to wonder, uh, you know, do you want the comics or do you want the live streams? Because I'm hearing people want the comics. But they really want the live streams, Kelsey, and they're very no. disappointed that you're not doing it every day. One or the other. You get comics or you get YouTuber. Well, there is uh, some truth to that, too. I mean, it's like. You really kind of have to commit at some point. Am I going to be a YouTuber? Am I going to be an artist and a writer or a producer of comics or however you want to phrase it? Because it's very hard to do both. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm all in favor of doing, uh, you know, YouTube. I love making videos. I mean, that I think it, it also it's where your uh, talent lies. You know, like I'm, I make a, a good produced videos uh, a lot better than my live stuff so yeah that i was going to talk to you about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah do my best pal whatever no uh no actually yeah. in, in all uh, truth i love your videos i can see more of your animation and stuff like that weren't you going to do a kit carter animation thing? i do but i'm doing all these damn live streams you keep doing oh now wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> flipped it on your ass <laughs> One or the other, and I keep telling you. Well, okay, then do the do the Kit Carter video. And yeah, then... <laughs> yeah, I got I, I got uh, the whole thing in my in my head, so I just need to sit down and do it. Um, so really soon, mm -hmm. kind of itching itching to do some more animation. So uh, well, answer Henry Bemis's question, Gary. Would you? He would totally buy a signed print of that Metropolis piece. Uh, Henry, that piece will be in my art book. Um, I, buy the book. I never sell one print through the mail. It's just, it's not cost effective to package it and go to the post office and all that just for one print. So if you run into me, I'm going to be at the, uh, the Eugene show that Aaron went to this year. I'm going to be the, in that. What if he buys like 12 prints? Oh, then definitely I would. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you buy 11 other prints. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to be in the, the uh, Eugene in show. Is it, is it in, uh, in June, Aaron? It's in Salem. Salem. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's the Mid Valley. Yeah, yeah. Comic Con or something like that. Yeah. Comic Art Festival or something like that. Yeah. It's a festival. You have to dress <laughs> up like an elf or something. And run yeah. Around. It's, yeah. You have to. You have to skip in. Yeah. <laughs> you do have this llama though that keeps showing up every show. These people walk this llama around, and you can pet the llama. Yeah. It. Uh, Is that a Chinese kingdom? Yeah. Comics. <laughs> the uh, last time I was there for free comic book day, that that uh, it sounds like you guys do up. LARPing there too. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll tell you the llama story is um, it was in front of uh, they had him parked in front of Randy Emberlin's table, right? And so Randy and Judy were out there, you know, petting the llama and all this kind of stuff, right? And I came up uh, from behind the llama and I just Great. patted it on the back uh, on, and. It started walking forward and like leaving, <laughs> and the ladies like that was holding the llamas like, oh, don't don't touch him, don't touch him. That's a, a command for him to go is when you tap him on the back. And I'm like, don't bring a freaking llama to a comic con if you don't want someone to pet it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I I literally gra grabbed her in a headlock and threw her out the front door. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <Now> get out. <laughs> 
He said they're chastising me for petting the llama. And I'm like, okay. Get Whose it out show here. is this, lady? Yeah, I'm the llama guy. I got a table. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lala says his biggest challenge when coloring is try not to ruin the art by losing the line work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the rest of I just I'm like that's the same thing. That's my biggest problem. Try not to ru ruin the artwork. What is? <laughs> yeah, well, you better we must be best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your mom's name Martha too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should stop fighting then. Why did you say that name? <laughs> Henry, if you buy, let's say five prints total, then I, oh, I would he's still work in the angle. <laughs> he's working the angles. Yeah, <laughs> five prints. One is no. I'm sorry, I can't do it for one. <laughs> Negotiating, yeah. unless this you want to, like, you want to spend the same sounds, amount for five it, prints on one. This sounds print. like this sounds like Abraham negotiating with God over. Um, <laughs> 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 Well, if there's 10 yeah, prints. Yeah, which is which in this scenario? Yeah, right. <laughs> but no, I, yeah, I, that's, that's a tough one to, to ship one print. I'll do it, Henry, but my prints yeah, are yeah, all yeah. over the piece. <laughs> Look at Aaron jumping in for that sale. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I got a high risk scan of it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yeah, Gary can't satisfy his customers. I can. Don't worry. No, I tell you, you know what the worst feeling is? Is when you ship out books to somebody or whatever. In this case, books for me. And they come back and they, they send you a picture and go, my books got mangled. And you're like, okay, I'll send you out some new ones. And you look and go, oh, it only has to go to Korea. Mm. Oh, my gosh. You know? <laughs> Brian suddenly old is, is saying that didn't happen. I was there, Aaron. Aaron petted that llama twice and was convinced it was some someone in a cosplay because the legs didn't look right. <laughs> no, hang on a second. That is true. That I, I was questioning the authenticity of it from a distance. That's why I had to go up. But then that's why I, you know, patted it on the back and then it just like, you know, then I got in trouble for touching the llama. Yeah. That sounds like a euphemism too, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Gordon yeah. Pub is asking Eric has seen the movie uh, Risen. Uh, no, I want to see it. It's never uh, shown up free any place. <laughs> Such a cheapskate. It's like I recommend yeah. you buy the, the the disc. It's it's that good. That's the one with uh, what's his face from. Um, uh, Shakespeare in Love, right? He plays the Roman soldier trying to kind yeah. of, yeah. It looked really interesting. It's it's mm. very good. Okay. All right, are we done yet? No. <laughs> are you? Yeah. What's the what's the clock situation? The clock is what I say it is. <laughs> You ask him that every okay. week. <laughs> Finally, out and you'll remember that if you know it's good for you. Yeah, yeah. I still have an ink the who's. Okay, uh, <laughs> we've got uh, fifteen minutes, unless it takes me longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, FedEx is at the front door, Aaron. Come on! Oh no, boy, I, you, that's so funny. We used to have those days. Remember that? Oh yeah. And it was like you would call FedEx, right? Like five minutes before the deadline, and you'd figure they never come right away. So, but then the one time you would do that, and you you needed that extra hour, they would be there in five minutes. And you're like, "But I'm not done yet." Uh, yeah, I used to like, uh, you know, do you, how how do you get the circle back around here? How many more houses yeah, do you exactly. gotta hit? Yeah, yeah if they're back. in your neighborhood, they're gonna come by. Yeah. <laughs> That was that was the thing we did that we had to um, we had the studio source we had studio sourced in uh, back in the nineties I remember the very first uh, it was me Terry Dodson I can't remember who else was in the truck it might have just been me Terry and Rachel but we were racing to the FedEx downtown to get there before five thirty to drop the the box off and we kind of laughed that a couple of times just so. yeah, we were like we kind of laughed going do you guys realize this is our first panicked. Uh, 
FedEx run of the studio. Yeah, I had to do that a couple of times where you're you have to drop it off. You hope hopefully you make the deadline. Well, um, did you ever have to like get done so late but you had to get it out there that you had to drive out to the airport? Yes. Oh no, never did that. Yeah, I, I did that. that. I did that a yep. lot. <laughs> You know I just what? said, too bad, you'll get it tomorrow. You know, I, well, I, the one time it was snowing out and I had, to, I ran, I, I said, I got to get this out. And I was heading to the airport. And I got in a car accident, hit some black ice, killed 15 people. You hit some black guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told the cops anyway. <laughs> they, uh, they let you they, off. They let you off. You know? Yeah. yeah they, oh, okay. Well, they're all, thank you for your service. <laughs> Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, no, and so I was like, I am never, I don't care what the conditions are, I am never gonna do this again. You know, because I I had no it was it was it was icy, it was snowing, I had no business trying to get to the airport just for a stupid uh you know delivery of pages. That yeah. was your business. You were supposed to deliver them. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it was like, yeah. I mean, I had this kind of, I always had this feeling like, you know, if I told you I'd get it done, I'm going to get it done. If I told you it'd be done on time, it's going to be done on time. And after that, I was like, yeah, no more promises. We'll put that on your gravestone when you uh, <laughs> yeah. die trying to get your pages in. Yeah, exactly. You know, what stopped me from um, having FedEx come to my door to pick up packages is this one guy goes, hey, you work for Marvel Comics? I was just like, Okay, now I got to take this stuff in. <laughs> I, didn't want, I didn't want him because he was eyeballing that package. He was just like, oh. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't trust y'all. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. My kid brother loves <laughs> uh, whatever. Exactly. Oh my God. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, something akin to that. I was like, okay, never. Again. Well, that's why you never draw on the outside of the package, right? Because you want. No, that to... happened with United Postal Service, where I did. I, I'll never do that again. I did a drawing on the outside of it. And I guess they took it personal. It's not that they were gonna just rip it off or just even keep it. They put it underneath. The the truck in tread was right all over it they're just like how dare you draw on the outside of this something awesome you know i was just like oh man <laughs> and i just said okay forget these people <laughs> evil Seriously, there was tire treads yes. on the box where the art was wow tire treads yep oh my goodness brian suddenly old says these lines are getting ridiculous aaron has been hitting the uranus fudge too hard Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Brian, you explain that one, Aaron. Brian was he's he's saying that that I'm lying about the llama, and I'm not. Uh, he was there, but he wasn't there when I petted the llama. So he he was there when I made the comment that I don't think that thing's real. So he's I think he's exaggerating a little bit he, about he's his, he's misremembering. Yes. Right. Don't say he's lying. He's misremembering. He's misremembering. His uh, he's lying. Okay. <laughs> he's a total liar. <laughs> his, his mama's a liar too. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh. This whole family. Are... Yeah. <laughs> mama's daddy is bald headed granny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> done enough. Uh, I've done enough. <laughs> well, tell us a tell us a tantalizing Christmas tale. Um, I have none. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm just. I I, I think I told the story of uh, one time one of those great family gatherings that I I remember so fondly um, that I used to love. Uh, we had uh, all these presents. And uh, I used to take out the trash, uh, and we'd always just set the trash by the door. My mom would do it. And so we had the trash sitting by the door, and my mom had all these presents for the family, and she put all of those in a trash bag, set them by the door. 
And then when she said, uh, take out the trash before we go, I took oh. both the bags from the front door <laughs> to the trash. And then we went to the family gathering, and then we were looking around for the presents. She's like, where are the presents? I'm like, what? what? I thought you had them. <laughs> and when we came back, the trash shed, uh, we looked in the trash can, it had already uh, oh. taken the trash out. So... Yeah, I threw all our Christmas presents away one year. <laughs> wow. Was, what, that how long, how yeah, long, that's, that's your tradition. You do it every yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long did it take you to recover from that? I still have it. I, honestly, I, it curses. Uh, yeah, I could tell the way you were, you were relaying the story that there was still a little, uh, little pain over that incident. Uh, I like anime still more than Christmas. I'll say that. Uh, manga. <laughs> <laughs> Manga's dead to me, but uh, uh, Christmas, nah. Christmas <laughs> died a long time ago. When wow, you humble. It. <laughs> so, did you, when you were a kid, you grew up in Texas, right? Uh, Texas, Louisiana, both, really. Did you ever have? Oh, you didn't have any snow in Louisiana. Did you ever have any in Texas? Oh yeah, we had. It gets icy, like seriously icy, uh, where uh, you're sliding all over the roads. And that's that. We did that one time. Uh, piled into a car and drove halfway across uh, Dallas for uh, something. Uh oh, peeling up my paper. Uh, and then, um, yeah, still survived though. Uh, but <laughs> <clears throat> he couldn't tell. Oh, this is harsh. Uh, Paul Taylor says, mm -hmm. I was playing Santa Claus in a store one time, and some old bat... <laughs> <laughs> some old bat came up to me and told me I was ruining Christmas. <laughs> I was like, hey, lady, you're ruining my Christmas. Shut up. What, what, were you doing a bad job playing Santa? I mean, well, it's open to his, I guess, his... <laughs> mm. <laughs> my brother, I was in the mall with my brother. We were Christmas shopping, like we were around college age. And the mall Santa had the kids lined up, and you know, like they have a whole display and all this. Like stuff. as a firing squad. We're walking by, and all the moms <laughs> and kids are lined up. up. And my brother yells out, Hey, that's not Santa. Oh. <laughs> the evil looks we got from the moms <laughs> we, we Dude, laid it out of there pretty quick santa died in 1972 suckers <laughs> the whole martin clan has just got this this uh, evil mean streak in them for uh, pranking people and uh, ruining christmas god bless them but it was worth it <laughs> just to see their their look i mean it was and they all like turned their head like that they, they were all connected <laughs> That's not Santa. <laughs> Did they do the slow, like evil look? No, like it was you boom. bastards. <laughs> well, when uh, we were, I say we, meaning me and the neighborhood gang, we were at uh, <laughs> my gang again. Yeah, uh, we had our gang signs and everything, and. Um, <laughs> Spider-Man was appearing at the mall, and uh, Ray Beards. so we uh, we went to see Spider-Man, and then we started quizzing him, you know, to see if he was really Spider-Man. He didn't have any of the answers, and so we'd say stuff like, hey, how's Gwen Stacy? And he'd go, oh, she's great, kids. And we'd go, she's dead. The Green Goblin killed her. <laughs> 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 Spider-Man? <laughs> He got so <laughs> mad at us. He's like, get out of here. He <laughs> kicked him in the balls because he missed the question. <laughs> Spider-Man would have saw that kick coming. Kick his ass some more. <laughs> <laughs> What's your spider sense telling you now? We're just beating him with pipes, you know. <laughs> <sighs> Damn, I want to see that, Aaron. I want to see that old photograph. Oh, yeah, uh, here we go. Now, this is uh, this is a crew of uh, 
Gotta go. Golly. Golly. Go full screen. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Those clothes look older than I am. Yeah, right. What was that <laughs> saying? Look at that. So there's there's Gary on the uh, far left, I guess it would be. Yeah, I've got like and, disco fever in that. Look at Randy Emberlin with no gray hair. He yeah. looks like uh he looks like he's an assassin or something. Dan Brereton oh. looks like a Vato Loco. <laughs> what up, cabron? <laughs> <laughs> next, next, Olale. Olale. next Gary in the back is Rick Leonardi with the shades there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, that's me with hair and uh, mm -hmm. Shelly Showtime right there in front of me. Uh, Randy Emberlin in the white looks like he was that's, that's Richard him. Finn, right? The, the promoter. That's Richard Finn, who put the shows that. on. And then that's Norm Bray Fogel next to him. And then Dan wow. Burke on the far right. Oh, yeah, that's Norm. Yeah. Didn't recognize him. So that would have been that would have been like ninety four ish, maybe. In that neighborhood, yeah. Yeah, that was like a year after I was born. <laughs> 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 no, I graduated high school in ninety five. You guys all look like my teachers. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this was this was one of the brunch cruises that we would uh, that Richard would take us on for coming to the show. On the Columbia, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Good. And I love the Columbia River so much. That's awesome. actually a, a cool thing to do. When you do a lunch or dinner cruise on the Columbia, it's 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 very cool. Uh yeah. hey, well it's 728, which means we still have 15 minutes to go. What <laughs> really? Why that was 15, 15 minutes, minutes ago? <laughs> it's 15 minutes half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me. You're killing me, Petey. Um, <laughs> okay, you, now's the time to do Super Chats. Yeah, yeah. I got two minutes to finish this. <laughs> Dang, I, I got this finish. cool uh, wax to seal uh, gouache paintings. Like you put this wax on there and water will just bead off of it instead of... It'll do what? It all I said you put wax on it and water will just bleed off of it. Oh, I thought you said something. Okay. You thought it said something. Yeah. What did I say? What did you guys you think said I said? Bead off. And he thought okay. you meant. Oh. Yeah, it'll just bead off it. Are you scared, Jody? <laughs> <laughs> you scared, Jody? Says Gary has many victims scattered along the Columbia River. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I went to that. Uh, I went all up and down that river once. Uh, they have a where you could. See, they were counting the the salmon swimming upstream. Like they have like a little hatch mm -hmm. in the in the locks that you can mm -hmm. see them. Yeah, by the dam. Neat. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I've done that. I've been there. Well, if you go to the Bonneville Dam, they had like uh, these big ponds out there where they had these these huge um, sturgeon. Mm -hmm. Because there's a ton of sturgeon in there down at the bottom. In fact, the the story goes that when they were they were building the dam, they had the divers down there, you know, uh, laying down the concrete foundation, and they just they these sturgeon can get like you know 15 feet long. I mean, they're freaking huge, giant catfish is basically what they are. And they saw these things down there, and these guys were freaking out and run, you know, swimming up to the top, going, "There's monsters down there." <laughs> when I was a kid. I grew up in California, but I had relatives in Oregon, and my grandparents lived up there. And on vacation, we'd go visit them and go sturgeon fishing with my grandparents. And my grandma landed several uh, five, six foot, five, five and six foot uh, sturgeon. Really? And it's like she had a bunch of pictures of her standing next to these massive fish that that she caught on a on a rod that must have been some kind of a fight to get those things yeah but those you know those days are long gone the fish that big in, the, in that river yeah now they have those like crazy jumping fish you've seen those mm -mm. i don't know about it up in oregon but like all all here in the and, well, I don't know about the South, but they got these like fish. Oh, that... boys. Apparently, wherever, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, some place. I don't know about the South. I don't know if they even have them in the world, but. Uh... <laughs> there is a river somewhere with these beasts in there. I've seen them. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, they, they jump up. Now, there's like a video going around of some guy just shotgunning them right out of the air. 
Have you seen that? No. That they like, like jump. I think I, jump. I, I think I have seen that. They're just they're like flying fish. They just as for some reason the boat causes them to. Yeah, know. they're not supposed to be in those rivers. They're like somebody brought them, and then they they breed like crazy and have no natural predators here. So it's just open season on these fish because these fish are crazy. They'll just jump right in your boat. It's like eating, and, eating. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are they good eating though? Uh, no, I, I've heard they taste terrible, which is part of the problem. Like, uh, oh. you know, it'd be great eating, but no, they're terrible. So now they just shotgun them right out of the air. Pull. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing for fun and profit says snakeheads. They're in Lake Michigan. Now, oh, well. yeah, yeah, interesting. All right, I'm done. No, you're not. Ah, oh, time. Oh, Jeez, I expect just... a full painting when I uh, look at your piece. <laughs> you have to look at yours then. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I did two of them. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm that's... exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, you should like lodge a, a pencil in that shark's mouth and draw with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. All right. Are you done, David, or done enough? Done enough. All right, folks, here we go. Let's take a look at my genius creation, despite all my distractions. <laughs> hey, look at those hey, poor it. dead who's. Who is down there? Uh, I have to tip my hat to that Michael Golden uh, weapon you've got going on there. Yeah, <laughs> that's, pretty, mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you. I just made it up. Michael Golden just threw up, but you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> no, I mean, just, <laughs> it's not bad. Like throws up on doing the reverse of all you know, showing it mostly black with just the white highlights. That's not easy yeah, to that's do. Cool. I like it. His heart didn't grow two sizes too big. It uh, it exploded and died. And, then... <laughs> and and he's he's smoking, which all evil people do, right, Kelsey? The villains always smoke. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to use some red on there, like splatter red all over these who's, but I didn't get to it in time. So, <laughs> so Aaron, are you going to do the <laughs> roast beef line? Oh. <laughs> Roast, roast beast is a feast I can't stand in the least. <laughs> I love the inking in that, that chunky like line work you got going on. Oh, thank you. I like it. You should do everything much faster and while horribly distracted. I think <laughs> <laughs> definitely the key. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Angela Curry says, oh, the, the woo manatee. <laughs> or the that humanity thumb. the humanity that thumb is selling me i love that thumb i, I don't know why thumbs are like hard to do for some reason you gotta and look at his feet this is great i actually love yeah. this piece yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true the sinking in the snow yeah yeah his, uh, his feet ice cold uh, yeah i always wondered about that those crummy crinkly. socks that he wears running around <laughs> in the snow I love well, how there's a coat, but no pants. Yeah. <laughs> like my uncle on Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the uh, scar tissue that we are poking when talking about <laughs> Elsie's Christmas. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, spam bot, $5 Australian. Thank you so much, Spam. Uh, oh. Let's trade Spam's an Aussie too. Happy five dollar Aussie dollars to Aaron and a good show for all. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate you guys watching on the other side of the world. Um, drawing like morning there, profit right? says Grinch War Journal. Yes, that's yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> exactly, Grinch War Journal. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yes. All right, let's take a look at uh, Kelsey's colorful Christmas rendition. Wow. Woo! Oh there you go. Okay, Aaron, Kelsey did two paintings. <laughs> I know. He just pisses me off. Um, yeah, well, I mean, here, I'll make you feel a little better. They look great like this. But then you see the close-up. <laughs> you see what you're dealing with here. <laughs> you know. So we'll just keep it at this angle right here. I think that <laughs> <laughs> those dogs are, are terrific. terrific. They're on awesome. that 
Yeah. So we've got a couple, a couple in the chat w wanting to know who the characters are in the in the, on the left. Uh, well, that's the guy in the red from uh, from what is the uh, from eyes wide shut, eyes wide shut. Yeah, and then these are the chicks taking off their robes so that they can go on their little Christmas orgy. Mm. You know, Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> it's all about. Duh. Christmas. <laughs> the, uh, evil one says Kelsey is such an overachiever as usual. <laughs> yeah, my teachers would uh, beg to differ, I'm sure. But <laughs> yeah, so there you go. This is a. Uh, I, I was just going to do this one, and then I made this joke in, in on Twitter, and then <laughs> somebody was like. Uh, we're gonna all unsubscribe unless you pay up on that joke. And I was like, oh, <laughs> all right. says, "Yeah, I always think of orgies when I think of Christmas." <laughs> <laughs> there I you loved, go. Yeah, I love the award piece that uh, from my favorite part of my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, those dogs are incredible. That's just great. Thank you. How, however, you are going to hell for doing sex for Christmas on the <laughs> uh, Let's take a look at what David Williams has to offer. Oh, wow. Oh. I was going I wanted to paint it, but I didn't have enough time. Yeah. Well, you know, Kelsey Kelsey set standards for the rest of us that we didn't agree to, and now we're stuck under. Uh, uh, Bruce is like, your breath smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> you even nailed the, the Keaton likeness. Yeah. Oh yeah, it sure yeah. did. Yeah, and that bat suit. That's not like the first time you've drawn that yeah. <laughs> I just love that scene. It's so sexy. It's mistletoe oh, it's so good. Deadly. Mistletoe could be deadly if you eat it. A kiss is even deadlier if you mean it. And then yeah, they what? realize who they are. <laughs> They're like, oh. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the best part of this movie. If they had left out the penguin and Max Shrek, this would have been a good movie. Just uh, yeah. Catwoman. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Shrek. I mean, who the hell is Shrek? They could have just made like a great Batman Catwoman movie. Yeah. You know? And it was. that The Catwoman parts were great. And I like that. I do like Danny DeVito, uh, especially when he's being very gross. But it's not really the penguin. I just like watching Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah. Well, they could have done a penguin movie. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. that's what happened with these. They these Batman movies went downhill so quick because they just turned them into like episodes of a Batman TV show with as many guest stars as possible. Jeez, what's wrong with Shelly? God. No, I, I, I got a feeling there's some grandkids running around somewhere. Around yeah. um, That's fantastic. I love the way you did Catwoman's head. The shape of her head is great. I don't know. It's hard to do that shot, that angle. They, it's great. Uh, people want to know where the mistletoe is, David. I didn't get to it. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's in her mouth. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, hey now. <laughs> yeah. um, well, there was one in, where, where I lost it. Oh, uh, Brian Suddenly Old wants to know when is when, do, when are we going to see a Shank Christmas special? Uh, 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 next Christmas. There you go. <laughs> next Christmas. Uh, I'm not, the evil one, I'm not going to read that. Uh, let's see. He must be smoking. Uh, <laughs> He's evil. <laughs> Paul Taylor says, I thought mistletoe was poisonous. We just made that joke, didn't we? It's poisonous if you uh, eat it, right? Isn't that what you just said, David? Mm -hmm. yeah, the movie mistletoe. line. Yeah. Mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. Mm. But a kiss is even deadlier if you mean it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just thought of so many bad jokes. Uh, no, <laughs> right. Keep going. Keep going. Next. Bad or bat <laughs> jokes. Uh, hey, bad. <laughs> uh, we've had a tremendous audience today, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe if you have not done that. We thank everybody in the chat for joining us for this holiday primetime Christmas special. We will return to our regular programming next week. Oh, now my dog's barking. Uh, <laughs> but I want to tell, say to everybody, we've got Christmas coming up this weekend. You guys, everybody have a great, happy, fun, safe, and Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for making this the best draw stream on the internet. And we will see you guys next week right here 
on Graybeard's Studio. Good night, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Next week? I, didn't, I thought we were off. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't ended the stream yet. Oh, Damn okay. wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are we off next week? I mean, I mean, yay! Let's do it next yeah. week. Are we off next week? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. uh, stay know. tuned, folks. Well, that's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And All right. Well, we'll see you in the new year then, right? Is yes. that okay? Yes, okay. the new year. All right. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you felt disappointed. Uh, we're still alive, yes. by the way. Okay. Everybody. Oh, crap. Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas. We'll see you next year. <laughs> Good night, everybody.